I think that's it. There he is. <laughs> you guys ready? Let's pull it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Hey! And JB's on there! 600! 600! Yes! Yay! Yes. Yes. 600 miles on, let me just- So here we are, back with the real supercharger. Okay, we are on the test track. I'd recommend uh, putting your head on the headrest. Okay. <laughs> there he's ready. Nope. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh. <laughs> oh, that never gets old either. We have the post putting production cars here. Yeah, oh yeah, you watch it. Yeah. But why is he gonna throw it? I don't know, but we're gonna watch it. Yeah, I'll see this sledgehammer. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. I'm Eric, otherwise known as Derek, here in Shanghai at Gigafactory 3. Ballapalooza. It's like tricks. Generic cornflakes. Whoa! <laughs> it's raining cornflakes! Oh. This is trippy. Look, there's nothing here. Welcome everybody, it is Saturday, I almost said Sunday, that's how messed up I've been lately. It is Saturday, April 25th, welcome to the live stream. Um, yeah, it's been pretty quiet of a week, David's gonna strap in because we got some news stories for you. Yeah, getting ready. Um, but yeah, hopefully everybody's doing well. I see somebody said it's 2 a.m. in Egypt, holy crap, thank you for joining, that's wild. I really appreciate that, Cat Man. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so again, kind of the usual layout is that we are going to go ahead, do news stories and everything. And then as soon as those are done, we'll just do Q&A, just kind of hang out with everybody, relax. Hopefully everybody is uh, doing well um, and staying safe out there. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, let me save this real quick so we have that. But we'll go ahead and just kind of jump right in to some news stories. Um, regarding some updates, we did actually get an update on Model Y, but it's a pretty, I don't want to say lame update. It's not a but lame. But it doesn't offer a lot. Yeah, but basically it brings the Model Y up to where all the other vehicles were as before the latest version. And that's the 2020.12.10, which, again, before this version, the Model Y didn't have that dash cam viewer Whoa. or 
it, it didn't also have the supercharger out of order status. So not a huge thing with the supercharger status. Oh. oh my, hello, oh. <laughs> Sorry, fixing the camera. But um, there we go. basically the Model Y didn't, wasn't on that code branch yet. And they finally, we got that update yesterday and the Model Y's, the Model S got that update as well, but there was really nothing new in that. The cool thing is. is but I think it, there's nothing new because the Model S is older, correct? Yeah, yeah, if it, probably newer Raven ones might've had some more changes, but our older car did not get them. The cool good news though is the 2020.12.6 is out as well and starting to roll out. That is the cool version that brings the traffic light and stop sign uh, functionality in beta. And yeah. uh, the so car here will, you can kind of see yes. what that looks like. And, and we talked about that in previous weeks, but uh, that's, it was in the early access program. There's some videos out. Basically, it shows that the car is able to recognize and react to stop signs and stop lights, but also uses GPS. And it indicates to the driver, you know, how long until you reach that location, and, and then it requires the driver to still uh, confirm before it will proceed through the intersection. All right, and just real quick, I'm seeing a lot of earthquake comments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was an earthquake caused by me. I was trying to adjust the camera, and I adjusted it a bit too much. Yeah. Sorry for that. Hopefully, um, we didn't scare anybody. We do not have an earthquake. <laughs> just want to make that clear. Um, but yeah, so anywho... This traffic light and stop sign control, I'm really excited for. I want it. I would like it now. But unfortunately, the only car we have that can get this is Model Y. Yeah, and as we said, the Y is not there yet. But right after we received that last version, the .10 version, we did get the map update. And we do know the map or navigation update is required before you can get the next version. So we're crossing our fingers, hoping we get it on the Model Y soon. Yeah, uh, but that dash cam viewer, too. Yeah, that we, we played we with that. We did get that. On the version we got, it was pretty cool. Uh, it's you can tell it's still the first draft of it, but it'll, yeah. be, it'll be nice. It's it's better than nothing, and it can only get better from there. It was cool yeah. though to be able to see the videos right away in the car. But like you said, and I 100% agree, I really think they should have something where you can like email that clip. Yeah, it'd be or cool something if you could like share that. The clip. Like, email it if you're on Wi-Fi. Yeah, something like that because that would be. Really, really nice. It or doesn't even have if, to necessarily be via cellular. Yeah. But if it could, like, if you could, like, hit email and it'll email when you get connected to Wi Fi or something, exactly. that could be huge. It doesn't need to send it right away, but if it could just tag that clip so you remember, here's the one at this time, send it, and then you can send it to yourself, and that would be a really cool feature. Yeah. I also kind of question why they, where they placed the, the, the front and rear and left and right cameras. It'd be nice maybe if the front was at the top and rear was at the, the bottom, but. It works the way it is, and it's nice. Yeah. And again, that's not going to be on cars with the older MCU 1. It needs MCU 2. Yep. So I don't have that yet on my car, but we're hopefully getting that upgraded here later this month, or beginning of May. We'll yeah, see. and we haven't heard anything. I guess we'll kind of jump into that just real quick. We haven't heard anything about the upgrade of MCU 1 cars, or sorry, MCU 1, Autopilot 2, and 2.5 yep. cars. Um, well, I guess... Scott's 2.5, but he didn't up ask for that FSD, and he hasn't paid for it yet, right? And he's and he hasn't expressed any interest right. in upgrading the MCU 2 yet. He's probably going to wait and see what it looks like on our car. Right. But, but we haven't heard anything about Autopilot 2 being upgraded yet. We're still waiting for that call. Everything was delayed, though, because of the whole situation worldwide. Yeah, I've heard um, of one or two people. but I mean, that's not like every single person that's gotten it. But yeah. it is happening, but they're not actively you know, upgrading all Autopilot 2 cars yet. Yeah, it, it's definitely pretty slim at the moment. So with that stop sight, uh, excuse me, traffic light and stop sign uh, feature that we're talking about, again, that's only going to be for hardware three cars. Yep. And so, uh, you know, older cars aren't going to see that, of course, uh, until they get upgraded to autopilot three hardware. Yeah. So I don't know. Hopefully we can get it on the S as soon as possible. I have still been emailing some people at Tesla. And unfortunately, yeah. the answer I get every time is they'll call you don't yeah. call us so i'm, I'm sure so it's kind of like an awkward relationship yeah. status right now i'm sure we'll see it on but the y soon it might be another soon. couple of weeks but hopefully with the next release who knows could be this this coming week but uh we'll see it on the s eventually yeah it seems like y is delayed from like the model 3 updates by like two weeks or yeah so. just slightly it's getting so closer. It, i'm sure it'll just get better in time but as of right now we don't have it so i'm kind of bummed about that um, one other thing that we've kind of been talking a lot about is the Model Y tow hitch. So I have some news on this and uh, hopefully some of you will be very appreciative of this. Um, I have been in contact with a company that makes a third party tow hitch. 
that is rated to 3,500 pounds and a 300 pound tongue weight, the exact same as Tesla's. And we are getting one of those. Hopefully it's here this week. I will be doing an install video and everything and showing you guys how to do that yourself. And I think the most exciting thing is Sandy actually noticed mm -hmm. that the wiring harness is behind the bumper. So hopefully we can just get like an extender cable and that way we can be able to hook in for like brake lights and everything for a trailer. We have some very exciting news on that coming soon. Not ready yeah. to drop that yet. No, don't drop it. Oh, I, don't, 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 don't do it. Drop it. Don't drop it. Um, but um, yeah, we have some exciting news on like that stuff coming, but we do have the hitch. Um, hopefully we're like, I think we are going to be the first ones with this hitch from this company. I'm very excited to like install this and get it on the Y. We already have the bike rack. We just want to go biking in like the mountains and this will really help. So just wanted to kind of let you guys know about that because we've been getting a lot of comments on when the tow hitch will actually drop from Tesla. No idea. We don't even know the after cost and what cars it will be able to be retrofit on. Yeah, I've heard rumors. Somebody so, said it was going to be slightly more than the the thousand dollars is what it is. I can see you, it being like fifteen hundred. Somebody maybe. I think said twelve hundred okay. plus tax. So it's a little bit more than if you get it, you know, b before delivery. But that's still not too bad. But this third party option uh, might be a way to do it a lot cheaper, especially if you can do the the labor yourself. Totally. And everything I've seen makes it look pretty easy. I guess. I'll be the judge of that when I actually do it. But the nice thing is, is anyone who already took delivery of their car can do this aftermarket version. It uses the same little door and everything um, that Teslas will use. And the greatest part is it's way cheaper. Definitely. And it's so much cheaper. Yeah, and it doesn't come by default with that wiring harness or whatever you need, but that is going to be available from a third party as well. Yeah, so, but hopefully you won't even need that because the car that Sandy had already had the wiring harness back there. Well, I mean, to connect to your trailer if you have a trailer. So, doesn't the trailer just hook right into that wire that it has? You know what? I don't know because we don't have a trailer. So. That's true. <laughs> so. We don't have a trailer <laughs> yet. We'll know. But we we'll know. know soon. But fortunately, with the bike rack that we're going to put it on there, it doesn't have anything we need to plug into that. So, we'll yeah. just... Uh, I guess I always thought that the trailer just plugged directly into the car wiring harness, but I could be It totally might wrong. need some like, uh, like thing in between. Adapter maybe? I, yeah, I don't uh, know. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to test it out. Hopefully we get it like this week or next week and we'll get that video out ASAP. Looking forward to that. Very much so because we need to just, I mean, I've been getting out of the house because I go to work occasionally, but David's been in the house pretty much. Two months? Oh, the last six or so weeks, yeah. Six weeks. I haven't gone many places. Took a couple bike rides, and we've been to the supercharger, but that's about it. Yeah, not a whole lot. Um, other news. So Elon has been active on Twitter lately. I'm sure you all are aware. And he has been talking about... Did we... We connected? Did we lose you? Are we good? Yep. Are we good? Yep. Sorry, I actually just got a thing that like OBS like restarted. Great time to restart OBS. Can we get a thumbs up if you can see this? We're back. Okay, sorry. I don't know why OBS restarted. Great timing. Anyway, um, somebody had asked when we can get an update on the Roadster and the semi truck. And Elon said later this year. Technically, the Roadster was supposed to be delivered in 2020. So I'm hoping that update is a delivery event. Yeah, and if they don't, hopefully they'll be announcing, you know, first quarter of 2021 or something yeah. soon. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, usually, we're excited. They usually have something, you know, in the fourth quarter that could be the Roadster or Semi. If not, maybe we'll see that Plaid uh, Model S and X. We'll see. And the Plaid S and X, I, I'm actually very excited for those. Hope they come out before that, maybe a third quarter for that. Yeah, I was originally thinking maybe the Plaid S and X might come out like Q1 or Q2, but I think with everything going on, it might be delayed a little bit. Um, but hopefully we can see that. And I think everyone just wants to see that Roadster. I'm very excited for the semi truck. Don't get me wrong. We didn't order one of those though. Uh, uh, originally, I think the deposit was 5,000. Yep. And then soon after that, I think it's what now, 25,000? It's a lot more. I don't know. Let's look, we got a few minutes. Yeah, but we don't have room in- We don't really have the room, but I'm yeah. sure like, I could make room. Yeah. It's just not something we need as a daily driver. So now it is a $20,000 deposit if you want a regular semi. And if you want a Founders, it's 200000 Oh, well. Yeah. So 
prices went up so yeah. we're probably not gonna do the semi at least not right away to be honest a semi should be going to the truckers that can actually make better use of it than like yeah. we could but definitely we are very excited for the roadsters we have a couple coming thank you to anyone who has used our referral code um and we just we just want to have fun with them roadsters yep so hopefully we hear some more on that later this year. But uh, as soon as we do, we'll let you know. Yeah. Another thing Elon was tweeting about uh, for the past few days was the Cybertruck factory. And Elon was saying that when they build the Cybertruck, they're going to try to put it the factory as, uh, central. central or maybe even slightly east just so that would be more centralized and for shipping and transportation it, they'll just make it that much cheaper and someone asked him if austin texas is still not running and he said it is and that would be a good location but you know there are still some deals with or some issues with <clears throat> tesla selling directly in texas so hopefully they can get those ironed out if they're going to be building a factory there but maybe this could help solve that Def problem yeah and well, one cool thing too that i saw in the news over the past week is that joplin missouri i, I grew up there uh, many years ago, and I saw Joplin is really trying to get a factory uh, from Tesla in, built there, and that would really help out. They're offering all kinds of like land and tax incentives and all kinds of things. So it would be cool if if, if uh, they built it in Joplin. I would definitely be going back for a visit. I mean, either way, we'll go for a visit. Yeah, no, if it's in Austin, we'll go. If it's Joplin, we'll go. But it's just, yeah. I know more people in Joplin. Yeah, there you go. And you you know your way around there. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Do we know anyone in Austin? I haven't been. I have never been to. I Austin. think I do know some people in Austin, but I don't want to name drop right now. Oh, I. Yeah, you you you're thinking who I'm thinking. Don't name drop it though. Yeah. Yeah, we we know some oh, people. Oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Very special person. Very yes. very special person. Um. So yeah, hopefully either way we'll go see it. But yeah, it would be interesting, and it's kind of cool to see what Tesla has done. Now all these states want to be part of that. And they know how fast Tesla is growing and what their future is looking like. And everyone wants to be part of that. And they're giving Tesla a lot of incentives to try to get them to go there, which happens with all big companies. I want to make this clear because I've seen a lot of people saying Tesla shouldn't get any incentive. Da, 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 da. This happens with every big company. They all get incentives to have buildings and like hqs in different areas yeah and they, they do, all do they're going to bring a lot of jobs exactly and i that's why they're able to get such good incentives with like taxes and stuff like that is they bring so many jobs and so much other like knowledgeable things to that area so we'll let that rest a little bit i get in battles with people on that all the time um yeah and oh there's another exciting elon announcement about He's, uh, people have been asking for years, why don't we have two-factor authentication on the Tesla app and the Tesla website? And that's just a way where you have to provide it some additional information or have a special device that has a, a code you know, via SMS or, or an authenticator app. So basically, it makes it a little more difficult uh, for hackers or someone unauthorized. It prevents them from getting into your account or makes it a lot more difficult for them. So Elon did say that the two-factor authentication should finally be mm. coming. Yeah, which is something that we've been wanting and everyone's been asking for for a long time. I mean, I two-factor everything. You would think that we could two-factor... Your car, yeah. A very expensive car. Yeah. So uh, hopefully and, that comes you know, soon they, later. They do have pin to drive if you're in the car. It's so that's, true. that's kind of a uh, two-factor. But uh, this would just allow it to, within the app or just even the website just to prevent someone for, or, or to greatly make, make it much more difficult for them to access your account and your vehicles. Definitely. Which... I don't want someone accessing our car, yeah. so and something that would be very nice. Exactly. And also, Elon did some tweets back and forth. Uh, some people have been requesting some additions or some modifications to Joe mode, which is basically a way you can make those autopilot sounds uh, just a little quieter, but they're not really customizable. So people are asking if they can do a volume slider or just some, make it a little more customizable. Somebody yeah. called it baby mode. We don't know if it's going to change, but it's just uh, it would be nice to have a little more functionality. It definitely just sounds like what they'll do is they'll take Joe mode and maybe add some yeah. customizability to that mode. Um, I don't know. Do you really use Joe Mode much? I have it turned on. Okay. I, I don't know why, because I'm only one in the car. <laughs> but, and I, I just wish that they would call it something besides Joe Mode, because I know yeah. Joe asked for it, but nobody else knows why it's called Joe Mode other than Joe. And so, you know, maybe they should just, if they do call it something else, like, you know, it, it would make it a lot more obvious. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's see here. And one other big thing, some people were asking Elon about potentially extending the referral miles that they have earned because nobody's really traveling right now. 
which I can I can totally kind of understand that. Um, and so Tesla actually added one month to everyone's expiration date. Now, if yours had just expired, I honestly don't know how they're going about hopefully that. Hopefully they'll bring them back. Um, if, yeah, hopefully if, they'll just push everything up one month and that means they'll be back active for you. Um, but it is nice that they are doing that. I guess we'll see kind of how this whole thing goes. And if it is something that people are on like lockdown longer and just not traveling, I'm sure they'll probably reconsider about adding like some more time. I don't know for sure, but the fact that they did this is kind of nice because we've seen them unlock superchargers and unlock uh, car battery reserves in emergency situations. And this is something that no other car company can do. Um, those of you that don't know, when there was like hurricanes and everything, anyone who had like an S or X like 60D, if it was a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack that was just restricted to 60, they actually let them use the full 75 to be able to evacuate and just get the most out of their battery because they technically already have it. They didn't pay for it, but they actually unlocked that for people, which is really nice. So seeing this in conjunction with all that it really goes to show you, Tesla does care about everybody. It's just a matter of asking. I think that's the biggest thing is just tweet Elon. You never know. He'll probably respond to you. He's been responding to a lot of people lately. Um, but yeah, I, I, that's kind of it for the news. It's been a pretty, pretty mellow week. Uh, I think Tesla is still slated to start back up in May Fremont, 4th. May 4th. Yep. So, Crossing our fingers on that because we're still hoping to get that next Model Y. Yes, we are very eager for another Model Y. So hopefully that comes quicker than not. Um, still want our white on white. That's really the thing. We want white on white with a tow hitch. As far as being all wheel drive or performance, we're kind of indifferent. Part of me wants the performance because I really like red brake calipers, but technically I can get those painted for a couple hundred bucks. Or powder so, coated, yep. Or, yeah, powder coated. So either way, we just want a white on white Y. Um, white. But yeah, so I guess uh, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and do a solar update. So David's actually gonna roll up here. Yeah, so basically, yeah, um, don't worry, we're not moving. But, um, it's not an earthquake. Basically, though, we had a really good. Did you want to just sit in this chair? We had a really good solar week this week. Um, last week, you know, we had some snow, and uh, you know, our pro solar production last week wasn't that great. This week, though, today was our best day. We are currently still producing about three kilowatts, but we produced 117 kilowatt hours today, best day of the week. Um, it, when we took the screenshot, it was only 114, but we've gotten a few more since then. Yeah. But we sent a huge amount back to the grid. You can see we only used five or 4.9 kilowatt hours from the grid, but we sent back 68 already. So we're just uh, killing it, sending it back to the grid and earning all those credits with our power company. Yeah. And for the week, we have done over 760 kilowatt hours, and it's averaged out to about 108 uh, kilowatt hours per day. So yeah, this this doesn't include uh, Sunday, so that's why it's slightly less than that. It's, yeah. It doesn't have the uh, total from Sunday. But you can see from the bottom there, we've only used 62 kilowatt hours from the grid this past week, and 413 we've sent back. So we, we're definitely have we're a surplus. We're putting a ton in the bank. Yeah, really good week. And you can see here, just as I was saying earlier, we had a really good week, bad week or not so bad but just not as good week last week because we had snow on uh, about four days i think uh, the big takeaway here though is look at this everything below the line is stuff we sent back yeah so obviously yeah the 12th and 13th we had some snow the second we had some snow um 16th probably snow but like look at all these days we're sending back a ton mm, yeah so major and again our our power company doesn't have any time uh, expiration for those so whenever we send this back to the grid they'll just apply it to our next bill and if they don't use all of those credits they just keep rolling it over from month to month so at this rate if we keep having some sunny weather like this we're going to be able to go all the way through the end of the year and never have to pay for electricity yeah and that's with charging two to three teslas and here again is just a recap for the year so far you can see March and April have been amazing. If you look at those uh, orange or yellow bars, really high production. And th those numbers below there, again, that's what we're sending back to the grid. And, you know, January and February weren't that bad. That means March, we almost sent back 1,200 yeah, kilowatt exactly. hours. Yeah, exactly. I think if you have the data for that. Yep. 
Yeah, we, um, this is for all year so far. You can see that for the whole year, we are only behind by about 600 kilowatt hours. So, mm -hmm. you know. We'll I, easily catch that up in the next month. Up. Exactly. Um, and I find this kind of interesting, though, is we've actually put 2,200 kilowatt hours what, through our power wall. Through power walls. This doesn't show, you know, they used to show in the past in the app, it would show from the power wall to power wall. They got rid of that to power wall just because people were concerned that the numbers didn't match. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the reason was because when you convert it from AC to DC and you DC lose to AC, some. you lose some. And so they just got rid of the two power wall. But it's nice to see the uh, 2276. We are sending a lot through the power walls. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so far, uh, basically, solar is printing money. Pretty much. <laughs> Don't mind the men in front of the camera. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're super happy with everything uh, on our solar. Uh, we did we have always have been. Another thing, you know, we had mentioned last week about the 1.46.0 firmware update for the power walls. We did get that on Tuesday. Uh, however. We haven't seen the new functionality yet, so we're kind of yeah, in communication with Tesla because basically for that, you just need to have a few different software updates, and we're uh, hoping to get that functionality here in the coming days. Yeah. Um, don't have it yet, but hopefully, yeah, we do. Um, real quick, I'm seeing some people asking about solar, so we'll just kind of jump right into that. Um, on asks, do the credits apply to your whole bill or just the electrical portion? It's just to the electrical bill. Yeah, so, so but we, the nice thing is, is if we have more credits than bill, we just end up with no bill and they roll over the credits to the next month and they just continue to roll them over. So in the summer, we're going to have zero bill and have extra in the bank to be able to take out in the winter. Yeah, exactly. So we're hoping that the additional solar we installed at the end of last year will help us get through November, December, maybe even January, because uh, last year we did have to use more from the grid in those months, just because the, the days are shorter and there's more snow. Yeah. Thank you, Greg, for the super chat. You don't have to, but I really do appreciate it. Um, Greg says super work, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, and then, so Frank is actually asking, do Powerwell batteries degrade over time? So yes, uh, any battery will degrade over time. Uh, we really haven't noticed any issues with ours, and we've had ours for, most about of a, them for about a year. Yep. About, um, since, actually longer. Yeah, so about a year and a half, so yeah. since uh, the summer of 2018. And the thing with the Powerwell batteries are in the app, it doesn't show you the number of kilowatt hours that are stored in there, it just shows the percentage. Uh, right. I think we can go via the API and you can get a little more detail, but we're not really concerned about it because the Powerwells are warranted for like 10 years of daily uh, usage, daily cycling. And so if we have any problems with that, then Tesla will take care of us. Yeah, they, they've been pretty good with all their, like, their warranties and everything. Um, but yeah, overall, the way I'm seeing a follow-up question, um, it will not cover any of the natural gas we use. No. Um, and so we don't actually have central heat and AC here. So any kind of heat we do, we actually have hot water heat, which does use natural gas. We are it's really efficient, though. I it mean, is very. It's much more efficient than central heat and AC. Yeah. But we are looking at other options, like, like a heat using pump a heat something. pump. Yep. Um, because we do have such an excess of electricity, um, so we're looking at things like heat pump and stuff like that to see if we can maybe do something even more efficient and lessen our natural gas usage. Because yeah, anything we throw back to the grid and have as excess, we can only pull back as energy. We don't get any discounts yeah. or anything for natural gas. And I see somebody uh, asked why we don't use like electric heaters. We actually do have a couple small electric space heaters, especially like right here in, in Eric's studio. It can be a little cool at times. It can get cold down so, here. You know, we do have them, but we don't heat the whole house with those and we don't use them all the time. And again, before we put in that extra four kilowatts system at the end of December, we didn't have enough solar to cover, you know, electricity for all the cars and the house oh, and uh, everything. So um, we don't use, we're hoping that the uh, additional system will help us get further through the uh, winter with the electricity. Yeah. I noticed Eric just got a blue screen. Yeah, so I just got a blue screen like, uh -oh. on um, one of my other computers, <laughs> which is weird. As long as we're still online, but that's good. It's not the streaming computer, so it's all good. Um, I just had an update. Hopefully it didn't like start bricking that computer because that's a gaming one. Um, but as soon as that computer's back up, I will show... Um, somebody asked, did we get the Tesla lettering for the Y from Abstract Ocean? And yes, I will post that photo up as soon as this computer gets back on. 
Um, let me see. There was a couple questions I just saw. Um, let's see. Where was it? Sorry. Let me get on here. Um, can someone buy a Powerwall without warranty from Catman? I'm honestly not sure. I don't know. I know that some people are selling their power walls. A lot of people earned referral power but, walls. But wouldn't that still come with a selling, warranty? I think it still is because once you get it installed, when you pay to get it installed, Tesla, it still has to be like on Tesla's network. You're right. It, it connects to Tesla. and they, There's actually wording about that in yeah. the agreement that we signed. Yeah. And so uh, Tesla will still allow you to run the power wall without being connected, but they will not have that un, you know unlimited 10-year daily cycling warranty they'll limit to a certain number like kilowatt hours yes and so it's it's best to keep it connected and again it has like cellular built in but we also have wi-fi so it's on our wi-fi and it also has ethernet so there's multiple ways that can be connected to your to the internet and report that data back to tesla yep um and then i'm seeing william has a question the third row backward seat in model s included a more reinforced bumper now there's only so much you can do about physics but it's safer than not having a reinforced bumper. Completely agree. So in case you guys aren't familiar, we did a video recently. We actually took those seats off of their stand. Actually, yeah. which one was Something it? Something to talk about. It was this, this one, one right here. That one. Uh, that. Um, and took them off their stand and put them in the back of the Y to see kind of how they would fit. And we also had some front seats from Model 3, which are the same front seats as Model Y, we put in the back. Again, just to see how they would fit. And it was interesting. I just yeah. don't know how they're going to do forward-facing seats, which they did have at the event. They did yeah. have forward-facing rear third-row seats. So they're going to have to put the second row on sliders. And even then, it's going to be super tight. So a lot of us are thinking they're going to do rear-facing seats, much like they did on Model S. And as, as and we saw in the video that we put out, was it on Tuesday of this yep. week? You can see width-wise, the... Width fits there. The the model X 100%. third row seats fit. We were able to just take it, stick it right in. Um, height wise, they were a little too tall, and we you know you could see we were sitting down low. We didn't even have the base part of the seat on there. Um, but as it was, it would there would be no visibility for the driver out the back. And if you're sitting up high, a taller person would not have any headroom. You'd have to be like below five four or so, I'd say, unless they're going to change the the bottom of that seven seater. Model A, of Model Y, sorry. Yeah, it, it would take a lot, in my opinion, of rework for them to get uh, third row seats facing forward. So my thing is, I bet it's going to be rear facing, which, I mean, I'm not necessarily opposed to. Even if it's forward facing, you're so far back. It just scares me having people back there in terms of crash because we've seen some people have their cars totaled and they were rear-ended from idiots going 60 plus when they were stopped and it's not pretty so take it for what you want seven seats not for me that was basically the outcome of that um real quick though so someone was asking if i did the abstract ocean letters on back of why and here it is part in the garage mess we actually cleaned it today. oh yeah it looks much better but today. here you can see there's a lot more room which I absolutely love right here between the bottom of the T and this lip. The only thing is this T, while you can remove it, there's two pinholes, eh, probably about quarter inch holes maybe, in the trunk lid. So you'd either have to like weld those shut um, like a gentleman did or just leave it. But the nice thing is, is there's more room, so I absolutely love that look. But I just wanted to throw that out there. And if you did want to buy them, you can actually get 15% off with my promo code in the description. Thank you to Abstract Ocean for sponsoring. Um, <laughs> it's shameless plug, but not shameless plug. It looks great, in my opinion, on the Y. And we went with the Chrome right now because we still have the Chrome badges. Uh, Catman says Elon's working on an evac system for homes. Yeah, so we've kind of been following that. There really hasn't been a lot of information on that, but that would actually be pretty cool if we could just do like a Tesla evac system. Um, maybe they'll do heat pumps for home. Yeah, we'll keep our eyes open for that. Definitely. Um, trip down memory lane from Andrew. Do you remember the very first time hearing about Tesla? Mm, yeah, actually, it was the Roadster for me. But wow. back then, it just it, it wasn't feasible for what I needed. Um, but then we started, I got the Ford Fusion Hybrid. 
and we started talking more about Tesla, and it just... At the time, though, Tesla was still way too expensive. It was like well, yeah. 2013, 2014, and they didn't have cheaper versions there. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's neat to learn about them. I bought some stock back then when it was very cheap. Uh, did well on the stock, but... I wish I had I, a cha-ching I, button pre-programmed. Yeah, I never thought I would be able to buy a Tesla back then, but then they started coming out with, like, the 70, and I was like, oh, okay, I could, I could afford the 70, and the S70, and then... They just, you know, kept coming out, kept lowering the price, adding the new features, and it's like, oh. so, you know, we've been owning Tesla since 2016, but we, we looked probably two or three years before then. Yeah, and, I mean, even then, when we got our first Model S's, what was, was it like 120 or 117? Uh, it was around, yours first s it was 90. It was an S90D. It was about 117 fully loaded. Mine, when I got the S90D, I didn't get everything on it, so it was like 103. So, so that was, was a 90 kilowatt hour pack. Yep. Um, and that was about 120. So now here, if we look, if you do a long range, which is a 100 kilowatt hour yep. pack. A long range plus. A long range plus, yeah, which does what? 391 so. miles. Yeah. What was the 90D? 280? It, it was like two, it was about 293. So about 100 more miles. Yeah. We'll do like the same kind of options I did. I love the white interior. Got to do it. Yeah, we did have carbon and fiber. I did have full self driving yeah. on that one. There are a few options though that we had to add on, which are now standard. Yeah, but now it's purchase price of eighty eight thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. It's come down almost twenty 30, to thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, and, and it's, what again, was that? Four years? Yeah, that, again, that's still not cheap. That's the you know the top of line car. Yeah, and, but. Um, well, you could still get performance, I guess, which would be even more. But the, that performance model has come down even I think you more. can now get a performance for the same price we paid for the 90D. Yeah, it's amazing. And again, those aren't cheap. They're not for everybody. But, uh, you know, then we, we bought several Model 3s over the past few years. and Great cars. And Model Y so far. They're great. But even it's amazing. Better it's amazing how cheap, though, you know, they are compared to the price of the Model S and X. And they include pretty much all the same features. Just a few things missing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing what they've done with prices already. Yep. Um, the nerd is asking, do you think we could see a million mile battery at battery day or, but uses much less cobalt? I'm honestly thinking it might be a little while for the million mile battery. In my opinion, I know that's not the popular opinion of everybody. Um, but I can definitely see them phasing out cobalt. They've already started doing that from when they first started to now, but it would be really nice to see them totally get rid of that. Yeah. And they're always trying they to up, up upgrade the chemistry and reduce those rare earth minerals yeah and the next big thing is what dry electrode yeah and i mean there's a lot of next big yeah. things let's be real and, but and, and we're also looking waiting for the s and x to get those new cells that the, that the y and the three have yeah uh forney kid says that y'all should do a live zoom session what with i don't know how do we do <laughs> zoom i mean maybe we'll, we'll look into it I'm I'm always down for that. That's yeah, fine. That would be interesting. We could have yeah, because then we could have t we could be able to see some of our viewers actually. Oh yeah, That'd that cool. would actually be pretty dope. Okay, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. It should be linked down below, and I'll try to set up like a Zoom thing, and we'll like tweet it. How many people can you have on a Zoom call? Good question. We'll research, <laughs> but that's where we'll try to announce it. We'll try to do it like during the week. That could be fun. Thank you for the suggestion. Um, Toucan Sam says, I'm a relatively new subscriber. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to anybody else out there, feel free to and smash the like button. Um, what do you guys do for work? So, um, great question. We get this a lot, but it's not a problem. So I actually work in biotech as a day job, but I still have a couple side businesses and everything um, that I kind of with. Um, and I'm a web programmer. He's a web programmer. Make web so. applications. So yeah, stay busy. Uh, Dodgeball Nation, where did you get your Tesla chairs? They're actually from Totaled Cars. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, Pete says you can do at least 50 people on Zoom. So that actually... Oh, someone... Matt said 99 person limit. Okay. So, yeah, that would actually be pretty sweet. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely look into that and um, see what we can do. Um... Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. The cool kid said, I heard for a bit ago that you guys play some games. What games do you play? I, let's see. Um, so I'm getting, can you check our internet speeds? Okay, I'll we check. Sorry, we're going to pause for a second because we're getting an error. 
saying YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain a smooth stream. Is the stream okay for you guys? Hmm. Yeah, it does look like our network is... Uh, is it slow? Yeah. Is Scott streaming upstairs? No, he's not doing anything. No. Yeah, it looks like we're having some... Te we have had some technical difficulties with our cable over the last couple of weeks. They've been coming out and to the neighborhood. But yeah, it is really slow. Oh, everyone's saying stream is fine. Hmm. So I guess I'm just getting errors on my side. Weird. I guess we'll just keep going We'll keep with going, it. but yeah, let us know. Yeah, let me know if it gets kind of funky. Um, well, someone said it cuts in and out. Um, interesting. Oh, Weird. Well, we'll just continue. Okay, well, we're just going to keep going. And Oh, okay, so the error went away, and now it says excellent again. Okay. Yeah. I guess... Xfinity is having fun with stuff. Um, someone said, who is Scott? He is our other roommate. He is actually the owner of the red, it's a matte red Tesla Model S. If you see those in any of our photos on Instagram or Twitter or even in some of our videos, that's actually his car. Yep. Um, so yeah, let me scroll back up before yeah, we ask about the issues. Through. Sorry. Yeah. Um, this is Brad from Florida who is working with you and, and I get the referral when I bought solar panels. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, you're experiencing what we are experiencing. Um, it took forever to get the electrical company to come out and give us the green light to turn on our solar. How long yeah. was it? I think it was like 56 days. Basically, they had like eight weeks, and they came out like seven weeks, and six days, 23 hours, and 45 minutes or something like that. Or it was They, they had, literally waited till the last blade They had 15 second. minutes left until the eight-week deadline, and, and they came out and turned on our service. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Uh, Wayne has a question. Um, but just let us know, Brad, if you have any issues. Just send us an email, and I can try to see what I can do with any of the contacts I have. Um, Wayne has a question. I'm trying to convince the wife of going with a Tesla, looking at a $35,000 base SR Model 3. Any suggestions? I'm in Thornton, Colorado, by the way. Well, welcome to Colorado. If you see any of the cars around, wave. Happy yep. to uh, talk with people around town. Um, so the 35000 base SR is an amazing car for the money, in my opinion. Especially when you look at it, you can add autopilot at a later date. Um, and since you're in Colorado, there's some pretty good tax incentives and everything. So uh, some of my friends, they've actually bought a Tesla here and waited till they got their tax refund and then used that to buy autopilot or full self-driving and stuff like that. And it'll also help lower your registration fees because they're crazy here in Colorado. Um, <laughs> but I, the $35,000 base Model 3 is an amazing car. Um, so I would not be opposed to it. We actually had one for a while. Um, and then I upgraded to an all wheel drive model three because I was going to be eventually selling the model three and the interested party was more interested in all wheel drive. Um, but I don't know. What do you think, David? Uh, uh, SR model uh, three. Yeah. I don't know. I know it's, they do cut a lot of things compared to the SR plus. So it's like, if you could just spend, I think like how much extra is the SR plus? I think it's like 3000 more for the SR plus. They throw awesome. in a lot more for that. So take a look, you know, and you know, since you could get that $4,000. So uh, the SR credit, must be, they don't show the SR. Offline, yeah. So it. if they're talking, they might be talking about the standard range plus, but it, it actually includes a lot more. They do have the standard range, like off book. If you contact them in person or yeah. go through the, the store, there's one up there in superior, which is really close to Thornton. And you can talk with them about that. Uh, I don't know if they are currently doing, you know, like if they're open for personal visits, but uh, or test rides right now. But they do have, uh, uh, they could talk you through that and tell you about the standard range versus the standard range plus. Yeah, they're great cars though. Model Three is is pretty great. Yeah. Uh, Eric wants to know how Scott is doing. I think he's doing great. Yeah, I see. Well, okay. somebody else asked how I was doing because I saw. Oh, okay. Let me see, just a second. Diego Falcon asked because he saw when we did put those. Uh, Model X third row seats into the back of the Model Y. We didn't have them hooked down, and basically when I stepped in, they were back heavy, and they tilted up, and I got hit, and both of my arms got uh, skinned. And it, can it, you hold up your arms? Are we they good? They look good now. They okay, are good now. Good. But uh, it was painful there for that day because it just both, the metal just came up and uh, you know skinned them both. But uh, I kept going. Yeah, you powered through it like yeah. a champ. We're good now. Yeah. 
Dodgeball Nation says, if you ordered a cyber truck, what are your thoughts about the truck so far? So we actually ordered two on opening night, the event, um, because originally dual motor was supposed to come before tri-motor. So I really want the tri-motor, but we just ordered both. I really want that 500 mile range. Um, the utility of it, it, it's very, very roomy. We actually got to ride in it. So I am extremely excited. So the idea right now is the Model Y is my daily driver. But as soon as the Cybertruck comes, I'm going to be selling the Y or family members. Someone's going to get the Y. And Cybertruck is going to be my daily. Um, what did you think about Cybertruck? It was neat. I mean, I, again, we only were in it for a few short minutes. Yeah. But it was nice. There was a lot of room and the cargo room. It is going to be amazing. And for the money, it's going to be you know the best bang for the buck because of the versatility. It's like the Y is great. I really love the Y now too. But the, the, the Cybertruck is going to just have that much more capabilities and being able to pull even bigger trailers and having the bed back there and the solar option. It's just amazing. Yeah. Uh, Rick said uh, he thought you were a lawyer and I was a contractor. Uh, no. I don't, I don't see you as a lawyer. No, I, I, I don't know. I, I always liked to study law. I did take like business oh, law. Oh, so like maybe that. Rick is on to so something. I like and and you know we how we discuss um, the rules and stuff yeah. like that. It's like but you know I I hate to well we'll we'll, we'll stop there. But and I don't yeah. think I could be a contractor because I would find too many flaws in what my employees did. Yeah. Now I do see. Don't uh, ask anybody at work. Yeah, I see up above Kudo Essen. It looks probably in Germany. I'm guessing. Asked about they paid uh, thirty one fifty for autopilot, and they're wondering what do they get for that. So you're gonna need hardware three to see anything currently. Uh, well, it depends because there's some things. It depends on when you bought the car. When we bought our older cars, uh, they had enhanced autopilot, and then they had full self driving. But now Tesla includes a standard autopilot for for free, or it's baked into the price of the car, and then the full self driving adds more functionality so depending on when you bought your car you might get some features or they might have to they might require full self-driving but we like navigate on autopilot is something that for newer cars would require full self-driving and that's just when you're driving you know on the highway or um pretty much it can maintain the lane do auto lane changes speed up slow down automatically uh, a lot of the visualizations which are new we will require hardware three and full self-driving. Now they do have some visualizations if you only have autopilot 2.5, but uh, if, uh, if you're gonna need for like the stop sign and stoplight reactions that just came out in the latest update, that's gonna require the full self-driving purchase as well as hardware three. Yeah. Um. It, it can get kind of confusing because they have changed packages in the past. Yeah, so we, and without knowing when you bought your car, yeah. and we can't tell you exactly what it is. But right now, it's not full self-driving. Uh, but you'll, as the new features are added, they will be added to your car automatically. And like we said, Eric's car just received something. Uh, well, he didn't receive full self-driving yet, but we're getting updates you know, every couple of weeks. And the next one should include that stop sign and stoplight uh, functionality. Yep. Um... JG says, would dash cam perform better with USB 3? Because I think it's only USB 2 right now it's in the car. Um, I would presume so. Uh, since they started adding USB Cs to the car, maybe they'll go that route eventually. Um, yeah, that's something we should check. One yeah. thing we saw that was a limiting factor, though, was like the MCU. And we saw that if oh, you had an MCU 1 with autopilot 2.5, the dash cam worked, but it was, it was jerky sometimes, or, or the... The compression wasn't that great, and and uh, we saw later with Hardware Three and MCU Two, it was much better, much smoother. So, um, yeah, we have maybe we should test that and see what we can see. But yeah. we use uh, like an SSD in the Model Y, and so it's like 500 gigabytes, and it's it's really fast, and we don't see any lagging or anything with that. But we should go back and maybe try that with uh, the MCU One and put it in Scott's car and see how mm -hmm. it does. But also we could try some other USB thumb drives and see. Yeah, and speaking of SSDs. We'll give you guys a little sneak oh, yeah. peek sneak since y'all are here in live chat and we love you. There's a video that will be posted on... Uh, I think the 5th of May 5th. The Cinco de Mayo. Yep. And that video, we will be giving away some SSDs for you guys. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a very fun video. Make sure you stay tuned. But we're going to give away some SSDs for people that want them. So, so make sure you watch the video on the 5th. Yeah. yeah. Or, or sometime after. Yeah. Um... Can't give away too much right now, but it'll be a fun video. Um, Rob is asking, can a Gen 2 wall connector cable, the 24-footer, be used on a Gen 3 wall connector for the extra length? Ooh. The cable? I think the I cable... I think the cable you probably could, but the only downside is is 
you're gonna have to buy both to get the cable. Yeah, and also though, you know, they do have different, there are different gauges of cable because the Gen 3 wall connector is only good up to like 48, but you should be able, I would, well, I don't know, though. I think you would be able to use it. It's not gonna make that Gen 3 wall connector charge any faster or higher, right. but it would give you the additional length. Yep. Yeah. Um, Pete is asking, do Teslas manage battery temperature when off? Like if it's super hot or cold weather, is temperature regulated to protect the battery health? Well, it's funny you ask this. Perfect timing. So today we have been cleaning out the garage. It was a great day for that. And so we had the two S's and the Y outside. The two S's we didn't hear anything from, but we could definitely hear the fans going on the Model Y. And it's just that it was trying to keep the battery at an optimal temperature. So the nice thing with Tesla's is they all have a BMS or battery management system. And some EVs, I don't remember the exact makes. Mm -hmm. Like the some, Nissan Leaf didn't yeah. have like liquid cooling and they had a lot of really bad degradation, so bad that there was you know, class action lawsuits and they had to offer replacement batteries for all of those cars. So the great thing is, is Tesla does have that, which keeping your battery at an optimal temperature will in turn make it last longer. Um, but great question. We actually just experienced that today. So it was actually very timely. Um, John is wondering if the Cybertruck will have a winch on it. Well, that's that a could question. be fun Yep. for off-roading and everything. I don't know. I doubt they're going to offer that, but I'm sure some third party. They'll definitely be third party, uh, yeah. 100%. Um, we've been getting a lot of emails from people that are starting third party companies for all kinds of future Tesla vehicles and um, there's going to be some wild stuff for Cybertruck. Lots and lots of exterior crazy mods. Uh, I've already even heard rumors of some 6x6s. Wow. So <laughs> that's that's going to be next level, I'm not going to lie. Um, but hey, if you want to see a 6x6 a Cybertruck, let me know. Um, let's see. Matt says, Hey guys, great channel. Thank you, Matt. Uh, scheduled to receive a model three in mid May purchase based on reviews. Every review says the seats are so comfy. Can you describe it? Is it foamy? Does it hug or what? Um, so model three seats, I definitely think are very comfortable. Um, they don't necessarily hug you, hug you, but it does have like nice side bolsters and everything. Um, I, I've had no problem with the seats. Yeah, I mean, I've, if they had massagers, I wouldn't complain. Yeah. But... And I think that they're a little higher up. I like the seating position better than the Model 3. Uh, so they are getting a Model 3. Oh, Model 3. Okay, sorry. But Model but 3 the Model and y, the Model though, Y, is y have higher the up. They're the same seats, yeah. but I just like the seating better, a little bit better in the Model Y. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but they are the same seats. Yeah. Um, I think they're great. If you're going around a track and everything, you might fly around a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we went with racing seats in the Model 3. But um, yeah, I think they're great. Now, S and X do have more side bolstering, and I would say S and X hug you a bit more if you're looking for something like that. Um, yeah. I yeah. see Eric was asking uh, about the Model Y charging a phone. and Are we using just the stock charger in the car? Yeah, so have... Model Y actually comes with a uh, Qi charger. Yeah. Uh, Model dual. 3, yeah, dual. Model 3 does not, but you can buy one from Tesla. I think it's 100 and something bucks. Uh, or you can go with something like the Jetta Pad. Um, you can, there's a, many different ones. Um, so definitely, we do it all the time. Yeah, um, the only thing you need to make sure is your phone case. So this phone case is pretty slim, but if you have too thick of a phone case, none of the Qi chargers will work. Yeah, and I, I think these are like the Taurus cases, and we have Samsung Galaxy, uh, what, S20 Pluses. Yep. And we tried some other cases, which had the metal kickstand on the back, but because of that uh, not being totally flat, we weren't able to charge with those. But with the cases that we have, they're totally flat, and we're able to charge both phones at once. It's great. It would be nice when the, uh, you know, the newer S and X have those Qi chargers built in, a single one. It'll be nice... Uh, uh, if they start offering that as an upgrade, so you know, we can order it from the parts department, add it to the older car. Yep. Um, Plaid is asking, do you think Tesla SpaceX is the most promising companies in this time? Um, I don't necessarily know about most promising, most groundbreaking, definitely. Um, I mean, promising, yeah. They, they have an amazing future and they've done amazing things. Um, I'm excited to see where they're going to go, though. Especially, I've been looking at SpaceX a lot lately uh, with Starlink and everything. 
that could be huge. And I would love to jump over and just use internet from them. Um, but yeah, SpaceX is doing some pretty wild, crazy things. And Tesla is honestly also, they're the only car manufacturer that can really sell EVs to mass. No one else can. <laughs> um rick says last question don't worry about the questions we love them um do you guys think that tesla will at some point offer a senior rate when buying a tesla um so i know i've seen some car manufacturers offer discounts for uh, active duty military and stuff like that um and i know tesla has made like military car and stuff like that i i could see it maybe being in the future so yeah potentially um, Another thing too, you know, I guess if they can't get a brand new Tesla, look at the old, you know, older used ones because they really come down in price every year. They definitely, and yeah. to be honest, even old Teslas are still great Teslas. They're only a few years old, and if yeah. you look at like the S, it hasn't changed on the outside, the body, what you know, in like eight years almost. And, you know, there's a few changes here and there, but it's almost the same car. You might be missing out on autopilot and and a few other things that are standard now, but. Uh, you can get a Model S used for like in the 30s, you know, 35,000 for the price as a, as a new Model 3. Yeah. Um, David said, would you guys be interested in a virtual racing event? MPP, which is Mountain Pass Performance, if I'm still up to speed, um, has a Laguna Seca virtual race tomorrow if you have a PC racing wheel. That actually sounds pretty dope. I do not have a racing wheel, though. Uh, unfortunately, like the games I play are like Fortnite and Call of Duty and stuff like that. Um Maybe I should get a racing wheel. It's too bad you can't use that uh, racing steering wheel that you had on the Model 3 there. That's true. I have the wheel. I just don't have any <laughs> of the things to put it on. It's a real one. But um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Helmets is saying Bloomberg reported today Tesla's calling back some California plant workers next week. Oh, that'd be cool. Hopefully they're just getting stuff ramped back up because exactly. you know, they're hoping to start back up on May 4th, but I could see them needing a few employees there just to get things prepped, you know, get all the parts back and make sure all the equipment, all the machines are set up calibrated. So I could, th that's great news. Yeah. Um, Donnell is saying, how would somebody know that an upgrade is available for the Gen 3 wall connector or wall charger? I'm assuming uh, you're referring to like the Wi-Fi connectivity and if there's an update available. They should just update automatically. Um, so I don't think you should have to do anything. Have you heard any news about that? On the Gen 3s? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't heard that yet. I don't think they offer um, any uh, upgrades on that yet. But I'm sure since it will be on Wi-Fi, it should be able to install the update automatically. With, I don't think it's going to prompt you, though. I, no, I, I think, think it's just going to do automatic. it. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. okay. I know with like the Gen 2, the way that, since those did not have any direct internet connectivity, the way those updated was actually if, when you were charging your car and your car received an update, it would be able to send that through the charging cable. Yep. So that's that's cool that they could do that. But uh, Gen 3, it should be easier. They can just do it via Wi-Fi when they have an update. Yeah, which will be even better. You don't have to connect your car. Um, let's see. Did you guys do a video on how to format an SSD? We did. Um, we're going to end up probably doing another one coming up soon, though, because Tesla has changed their process. So it's actually not as bad as it used to be. Yeah, they offer... a few more formatting options on the drives now. Exactly. So it used to be a big pain in the butt to get it to what it was unless you used a 32 gig or smaller card. Um, but now it's it's really easy. So yeah. we'll, we'll do an updated video since we're going to be doing some SSD giveaways. Yeah. And that way everybody has it. And anyone who wins an SSD, if you want us to, we'll format it and everything. So all you got to do is plug it in. Yeah. Up to you. The nice thing too about those big SSDs is that you can partition them in multiple partitions and you could have, some people still have a lot of like MP3s or music that they want to carry around with them and, but they want to still also be able to have the dash cam, but they don't want to use multiple USB ports. So by having those SSD drives, they can partition them and have one for dash cam, one for their music. Yep. Um, Eric is asking, what does your Tesla show when the battery is low while you are driving? So it'll actually say if you're driving to a destination and it's programmed in it'll actually pop up and say um, you don't have enough charge or you need to stay below X Certain amount speed, of mileage yeah. uh, speed to be able to make it there in time. But also your battery indicator 
is green and then it'll go to orange and then it'll go to red. Yeah, and also, it tell, it'll like Eric says, it tells you along the way, but there's also an energy graph that you can do. And so yep. when you're navigating, and it predicts and shows you exactly what percentage you're expected to drive to. So say you're leaving and you're a supercharger and you're at 80% and you're gonna drive for a couple hundred miles and it expects you to get there with like 10%, it'll show a bar graph, or a line graph, sorry, and it will show you know green and then orange and if you get further down, or yellow, and then down to red. Mm. Um, so yeah. you know all along the way, but if you are going through some snow or you have some high winds and stuff, then your expected, or your actual energy usage might be higher than the expected, and you'll see the lines separate, and you'll know exactly um, what you should be ending up with. No, uh, Jim is saying, what Cybertruck add-ons would you get? A pop-up camper top? Um, I would be open to that. We will have a I don't know how much of that I can say. Did we already talk about... No, no, that's okay. the surprise okay. that, that we're going to drop later. Yeah, okay, so I can't say too much. Um, but in terms of, like, Cybertruck accessories I'm looking at, um, I've been informed of maybe some lift kits, the 6x6 six six option. Definitely the solar um, option. The solar tonu cover, 100%. Um, I don't know, there's... There's some other really cool stuff that I can see if somebody will make it. I'd totally buy it. I just don't know how because it's big and bulky. I've heard somebody's going to try to offer like the brush guards for the front. Kind of like some, what are those, like Jeeps have it? Yeah. Stuff like that. Yep. Um, there, There's going to be, I guess, some pretty cool stuff. I think Cybertruck's going to be a game changer. And I've said that probably about every Tesla, but Cybertruck will be pretty awesome. Um, cool kid said game I would recommend is Roblox. Um, you should make a gaming channel. So I actually do have a gaming channel on a different streaming platform. I use YouTube mainly just for Tesla related content. I haven't posted there in a while though. Um, I've never heard of Roblox. I'll look it up. Um, let's see. Dodgeball says huge fan of your channel. Thank you. Been following you guys for some time now. Hopefully you didn't go back and look at some of the really old videos because they are cringy. Um, we looked back at some, mm, some not too long videos. ago, and it was you bad. Know, we, we, you know, we, we've talked before about um, our Tesla Taste Test Tuesday, which was one of our very first videos. It was pretty bad when we just drove around and tried eating food in the Tesla. But we, <laughs> we saw another one the other day, which was when we took some Skittles and we put them on the hood of the car and what added water. That and, was when, like, the big Skittles challenge was And we made off. a rainbow on the hood of the first Model S, and we're like, wow, why did we do that? You know, it was fun, but... Uh, not the most boredom yeah yeah not <laughs> didn't get too many views but you know um anyway you are so lucky to have experienced cybertruck in person there's a youtube video of a cybertruck being driven at night and what appeared to be flip mirrors that folded in did you see that uh mirror flip was seen at the 29 second mark i think i have seen that and yet i think that was actually okay. elon driving it i saw somebody said i need to oh up again. david so, needs to see, see well, i did on. have the seat belt on earlier so these he are did. fully functional seat belts if i pull them too hard you can see that it prevents me they so, have the pretensioner yeah still in so them. you gotta go slow but i always wear it during the beginning of the video and then I had to get up to check the solar. I couldn't see from back here, so that's why I removed it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the flip mirrors that folded in, um, I think Tesla's going to be surprising us a lot on Cybertruck. I guess that's what I'll say, and I'll leave it at that. Um, Diego saying, did you hear anything about the lawsuit against Tesla for the semi-door and windows? think it's from Nikola in Arizona. Yeah. Um, I mean... If you don't have a product, you're just going to sue other people. And I, I don't know. I, I remember hearing about that, but I couldn't see the timeline. And I, I, did they yeah. really re show anything before? T I don't know. I don't remember the timeline. I really haven't gone over it too much. I just think it's kind of funny. Again, not going to go into it too much. But Nikola doesn't... I don't believe theirs is fully electric. I think it's hydrogen. Yeah. So it's Electric. like, good luck with your hydrogen semi-truck. No offense to hydrogen cars, but yikes. Um, let's see. Uh, we had some people giving their thoughts on the Model 3 cushions and seats. Thank you, guys. Anything you can help out and chat with is appreciated. Um, and just give your experience. Um, let's see. Ooh, Michael has a good question. Are we bored with the colors that Tesla offers? I wouldn't necessarily say bored. I'm disappointed they took silver away. 
Yeah, I like. I still like white. I'll probably always get white. But I did have silver as my first uh, Model S ninety D, and then we bought one silver uh, Model three as well. And so I'm surprised they took it away. And uh, you know, a lot of other manufacturers have silver. I wish they had like a brushed, you know, or you know, like oh. what would you call it, brushed silver or I don't know or, what just happened here. But can, can, I wish Stream they, Deck is resetting. Yeah, I wish they had the <laughs> silver go. like when the Model Three was first unveiled. And it, oh yeah, like the matte silver. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what it is. that looked really that, good. I wish they had something like that. And yeah, a few more options would be nice. Um, I would like it if they would do even if you had to pay a very high premium. But a lot of other car manufacturers will do custom paint colors. They used to offer that back in the they day. They did for uh, Roadster, on. I remember. I, I think they did on the Model S. For S. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't cheap, but they no, did do that. But it's something different. And hopefully with Giga Berlin, we've t heard Elon talk about a state-of-the-art paint factory and everything. Hopefully they'll be able to do some upgrades to Fremont. But like he said, and I 100% agree, it's hard to upgrade something to a very, very high standard of upgrades, like completely overchange everything when you have to use it. And if they have to shut down Fremont, I mean, it's been shut down, but this was unforeseen shutdown, so I'm sure they weren't able to completely overhaul it. But if you have to shut down for something for a couple months, it's not easy. So maybe they'll be able to move things around at Fremont and just build a new paint line, and then once that's up, they can dismantle the old one. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably the only option they have. I think because they're they're always upgrading. Because you know when they built they that are. paint facility, they upgraded it for the Model Three, and now they're already planning something even better for Germany. And yeah, hopefully they can do something even better in Fremont one of these days. Yep. Um, let's see. Eric says, "How are the dogs doing? They're doing well. We will bring them in at the end of the stream for you guys. Yeah. Otherwise, we've just been hearing a lot of people say their nails. So this wood floor yeah. and their nails clack on it. It can be very distracting. Um, let's see. Any recommendations for Model Y mud guards? Um, I so I haven't heard of any yeah. yet. Um, as far as all weather floor mats, I don't know how much I can say." currently um but they are available for pre-order at testmanian.com i believe is the website let me double check one moment Tasman yes testmanian.com um and yes they fit very well that's all i can say right now hopefully i didn't just get in trouble i would pre-order his because they're very nice um video coming soon uh, let's see. Um, somebody said he has a supercharger in the room. Yes, we do. It's v it's only V two though. So. Yeah, it's only a V two supercharger. Mm -hmm. So it's like we have to slow we'll, we'll, down. We bit. get by. Um, so we'll kind of go over this. A lot of people ask about this and why it's not in the garage. <clears throat> Couple reasons. Originally, this whole project happened because I wanted a supercharger in the garage. Tesla would not sell me one. And I begged, I pleaded, I used every contact I had to try to buy one. They wouldn't do it. So we went out to a supercharger. I took a ton of photos and did measurements. a bunch yep. of measurements. Yep. We actually have a video about it. I actually made a shell. So it's only like half of it out of fiberglass. Uh, I made a foam mold, fiberglass over it, removed the foam. And actually that's what is currently in the garage is the high power wall connector cable goes through it. Then... I found this on eBay, and this is an old store display that a store had thrown out. Yep. Somebody found it and grabbed it, and I was stupid enough to pay too much money for yeah. it. But it, it is, it's, you know, this is an actual supercharger yeah. cable. We've it's opened it up. Legit. If you watched the video we put out, I think, on Thursday, we actually showed the inside of this a little bit, just a bit quick yep. snip. But that's clips from a video we did about a year and a half ago when we yeah. first bought this. But you can see it's got all the uh, equipment on the inside where they would attach all the cables and everything. And the lighting, it's all the same as what Tesla... Yeah, but I get a lot of questions dirty. why this isn't in the garage. Um, yeah. Reason being, I built the other one to hang on the wall and hide the cable, which it does a very good job at, and that's what I like. Where I park, this doesn't really fit for me to be able to pull in because it does take up a decent amount yeah, of it's over space. it's over a foot deep overall because it's on yeah. a stand so it's it's about this 
thick. Yeah. And if we put that on the side of the garage, it would just limit where we could park, and you'd have to be careful. Exactly. And I think it makes for a pretty dope studio yep. accessory. I think it's pretty awesome. And the lights light up. Yeah. You can flip those, and you can see. Oh, they light cool. up everything. Maybe it's pretty I'm, awesome. Maybe for but Christmas. that's kind of the story with that. Should... I get that asked a lot. Yeah. Um, I have tried to buy other ones. Um, I haven't seen any, though. <laughs> I don't know what I'd need with other ones, but I still think it would be fun. Um, maybe eventually I'll be able to get enough of them, and maybe we'll find a way to put them in each stall of the garage. But the reason we don't have this actually working is because this requires 200 amp service. That or Wait, is it 200 or 400? Uh, no, it's a lot more than that, because we have 200 amps. Yeah, service. I think it's 400. It, it's even more than that. I don't know what it is. It, it's stupid but amount, but our house doesn't even have the cost, amps to run. It would cost it. tens of thousands of dollars to run yeah. the, the, the wiring from the electric lines to the house. It's it's not worth it. I think originally when I got this, I actually inquired about updating our electric wiring to the house. And it's not because we need the supercharger. None of us need to charge that fast at home. It was just because it'd be kind of fun to see it actually work. And I think they said initial estimates were going to be like 50 plus thousand dollars. Yeah. Immediate canceled. But yeah, we don't really need that to charge that fast at home. If, if we had like a taxi business or something like that, we're driving all day, then we might. But it's we don't need that. And there's enough superchargers. They keep building them out. The, now the closest supercharger is only like... 10 miles away from us. So if we were out driving around a lot, we would just stop there if we needed to really charge that fast in an emergency. Yep. Um, Brad says, bought a flaunt electric bike. Such a great purchase. I'll have to check that brand out. Do you have an electric bike? So we actually both have regular like road bikes and we've been biking a lot lately, but I actually do have a Thok T-H-O-K-E mountain bike. And I've been riding that a lot too. That's kind of one of the big things we want a hitch on Model Y so we can yeah. take it up to the mountains and really put it through its paces. But that bike is amazing. I'm super, super happy with it. I actually have a video on it coming soon. We just want to be able to take it up to the mountains to get some extra B-roll shots and really experience it up there before I give a 100% review on it. Um, but so far, two thumbs up. You've actually ridden it too. What did you think? Because is that your first e-bike you've ever ridden? Oh yeah, I've never ridden one besides that. And, and it, what did you think? It was nice and it was amazingly quiet and it, it's like effortless. Exactly. Uh, you know, going uphill, you don't really even have to try. I mean, it had multiple speeds. Wasn't there like three different speeds or yeah, three of, different of assistance, assistance levels assistance or whatever? Levels. Yeah. But see, the thing with the e-bikes or the at least the e-mountain bike that we have, it's assistance. Yeah. So it's not like it has a throttle. You actually still have to pedal, but then it will help kick in and really makes for those long bike rides going up hills. It makes it easier to go uphill so that when you start going downhill, especially on a trail, you can take 100% advantage of it and you're not fatigued or anything. Yep. I absolutely love it. Will I get an e-bike for the road? Probably not because I want the e-bike or I want the road bike to get my calf muscles in shape. <laughs> <laughs> so it's some a little those, different i mean some of those long rides like up lookout mountain or something that's like that, true that would be it, helpful. it would be nice but you know one of the main points is so you get some exercise and you know uh, i don't think i need one yeah um let's see um nickel hopefully i pronounced that right said it comfortable and pointless or utility without comfort you have to choose one mm. Mm. i would probably choose comfort I don't know. I don't know what the But utility, about. like, would you want a very comfortable car with zero utility? Or would mm. you rather have an uncomfortable car mm. with 100% utility? Yeah. Can't decide. <laughs> so, I like comfort, but I do like utility. Not That's a do, really good question. But it's not going to do you any good if you have a really nice, comfortable ch car and it doesn't start or doesn't drive anywhere. You know Touche. Touche. So, I don't know. That's a good question. Um... Let's see. Um, sorry, going through some questions. I see we've answered some of it. Um, Pete says, thoughts on design refresh for SNX sometime this year. So originally we were thinking it was going to be Q1, Q2. But with the current situation, I'm thinking Q3, 4. I, uh, that'd be kind of my thing. What do you... Yeah, I'm still thinking, hopefully third quarter. But again, you know, it depends on how long the factory shut down. Yeah, but I, I, we're gonna hear something. We got to hear something this year, whether it's these the uh, refresh or the uh, Plaid SNX or the new Roadster. We'll see. But hopefully, we'll get something later this year. Yep. 
Uh, Catman says, do you think Starlink satellites will help improve location accuracy for Tesla cars since they fly in low orbit? Te Elon's actually been asked this a lot. And so I think it was Elon that actually said is the receiver is very large. Yeah, and it, currently. Currently. I'm sure... But I don't, I don't see why time. they can't build that into the trunk. Exactly, because that's the, the thing. Right above the trunk, it's empty. They could just build that under the trunk. Yep. And I mean, I used to work in the satellite TV industry when they had like one meter dishes and they kept getting smaller down to like 18 inches. Then they started getting bigger again when they added HD channels and, and all these different LNBs and stuff. So uh, if, if they can come out with Starlink and they're able to launch 60 satellites, they got over 420 satellites in orbit right now, there's, they can figure out how to put an antenna on a car. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's just I definitely time. think it's smart of them to be thinking about that because they own Starlink. I mean, okay, so Tesla doesn't own Starlink, but really Elon cool. owns Starlink. Yeah. So I'm sure they can get very good deals. And I would hate to see what their AT&T bill is right now yeah. because that's who they use here in the U.S. I can only imagine... That I would actually love to see that. But, I mean, if anybody knows, but drop when, it. Like, you know, but, have Sirius XM. Yeah, it's like if they're able to have audio. You know, there's not much more that that Tesla would need to add for you know. People aren't going to be streaming Netflix, or maybe they will be. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah, you yeah, know, totally. Once you do have full self-driving, maybe they will have streaming of movies channels, and you could watch that while you're driving around. But for now, they could come out with an antenna that, that would be small enough that they could at least do the navigation and maps and software downloads and stuff, and, and uh, they don't need much more. You know, They could get by with a smaller antenna, I'm sure. Oh, I 100% agree. Um, Nasty Naz is saying, do you think Tesla will announce vehicle to grid tech soon? Maybe battery day would be a game changer. Maybe need less power walls. I definitely would love to see vehicle to grid for Tesla. I just am afraid on the back end how that's going to work out. Yeah. Especially with supercharging the way it is and it's free for S and X. I can see people abusing the crap out of that. Another thing is. I need a drink. Sorry. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> Another thing is I think they could offer it, but maybe maybe they would only offer it to people who already had power walls or who had gateways. Because when you get a power wall, you don't just get that installed. You also have a gateway which connects between the power walls and your, you know, your meter. And it, it senses if the grid goes down. If somebody, if everybody just brought their car home, plugged it in, and were powering their cars, if they don't have a gateway, then it could conceivably send power back to the grid when, when the linemen are working on it, and that could be a safety hazard. So you need some way to prevent that. And I don't think they're going to want to build in a gateway into every car because that's going to be a lot more expensive. But if, if you could come home, plug your car in, and then it could then draw the power out of the battery as long as you had a gateway and it could maintain that safety factor, then I could see them offering that eventually. But I know, too, they're concerned about the cycling of the battery. So I don't know if they'd want you to use it every day, but it would be nice if they offered it in emergency uses, like if there's a hurricane or a tornado or something and your power goes down for a couple of days, you do have a lot of power in those cars. And uh, we did a test, you know, last year where we were off the grid for over 200 hours with our power walls. And at the time we only had three power walls and that was sufficient because we were recharging them every day via solar. But we also had like over 400 <coughs> kilowatt hours, I believe, of, of car battery power in the exactly, garage just that sitting was sitting there. unused. And we only had about, at the time, 40 kilowatt hours of power wall battery. So it would be nice if they did have vehicle to grid, or at least vehicle to home. Maybe not vehicle to grid, but vehicle to home so I can yeah. power my own house. And that's that's where I'm it's like 50-50 on. I think it, the use cases definitely outweigh the cons, but I think Tesla needs to do something to ensure people aren't just going and supercharging for free, taking it home, and just doing that perpetual cycle because I think that's just going to clog up superchargers some people for not that, what they're know. intended yeah. for. I mean, it would be so, it would take time, but some people would do that. It, it would. So that is my internal debate. <laughs> um, I'm sure Tesla is also thinking about that. But eventually, I would love to see that because it would be very useful for people, especially with multiple cars and everything in case of emergency. Um, Donnell is asking what... The most, what's the most efficient way to install a power and radar detector without powering it from the center console? So, I mean, the easiest way. And what car is that? Um, I would, I think, I'm gonna uh, go out on a limb and say Model Three, but again, I don't know. Drop it down below, and I'll yeah. readjust my answer maybe. So, I actually did the Blackview power and everything in my Model Three through that. Uh, 12 volt in the center console and just took off the paneling and ran everything up and around. The reason I did that is because I wanted easy access if I ever needed to turn it off or anything like that. And I didn't want to tap into any wires because 
tapping into wires can be hit and miss, especially on something like a Tesla. I didn't want to mess anything up. So I would just try tapping into that 12 volt if I were you and just taking off the side panels of that center console and hiding your wire in there. It's a little bit more work, but in the future, if you go to sell the car or anything, you can remove that and there's no issues with the car at all. And a couple, oh, oh, this is for a radar detector, right? Not a dash cam? Yes. Because I know that, I don't know how much power they use, but they could probably get by with all the, some of those other like third-party batteries. Like That's the, true. Like the uh, one from Blackview, Blackview, yeah. Where they have a, a like an ultra battery or something that you can do. It, it's not cheap, but it'd be a way that you could connect your dash cam or even conceivably a radar detector and power it from that. And that yep. way you wouldn't have to tap into any wires or run them all the way down to the 12 volt. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Michael, great comment. I 100% agree with you. I wish I could buy a Model Y Performance with the 20s instead of the Performance 21s. And you can, but only if you do it without the Performance Package, which is the bigger brakes and everything. My suggestion would be look at aftermarket rims because that's what I'm doing. Definitely. Or, or, or buy the 21s and there will be somebody who will swap with you Oh, 100%. Uh, the 20s. You can just post online. I mean, if you live out in the middle of Montana, it might be hard to find somebody local. But if you're in California or, or Florida, in just post it and you can find somebody. I just saw earlier this week a couple people. One guy had the 21 inch uh, one, um, Uber turbines, the other guy had the 20 uh, con inductions, and they just swapped. And, you know, that's all it takes. And, and if you want, you might want to say, oh, these are worth more. Can you give me a few hundred bucks? But you can definitely find somebody who will swap for those Uber turbines. Uh huh. Uh, William is asking, did we order any of the Hot Wheels remote control cyber trucks? Oh, yes, we did. I ordered a handful. <laughs> I, I did order quite a lot. Yeah. But hear me out. Don't get mad at me. I'm going to be keeping one of each for myself, and we are going to be doing some giveaways. Yes, and we, those things were $400, We thought $500. of our viewers, but we, it was we, a lot. we bought more than one just so yes. that we could uh, give stuff away. Yes. So we bought some to give away because I love doing stuff like that. And I knew those were going to sell out. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy some extra. I'm not reselling any of them. Yeah, I know it's going to be I'm like... keep some for me and sell the rest. Are they both coming out in December? Or is yes. It, okay, so it's going to be another seven or eight months before we see those, but yeah. we, are, we are eagerly awaiting those, yes. Yeah, but there's definitely uh, going to be some giveaways with those. It's going to be it's going to be fun. Um, let's see. Um, trying to work through some of this. Um, somebody said, in Quebec, most residential areas don't have uh, three-phase power for supercharging. Don't know where you live. We're actually in Colorado. Um, we could get the power for that supercharger. It's just a matter of cost. And, and again, just yeah, they, they'll run your line if you pay $50,000. Exactly. But nobody would, in the right mind, I think, would pay $50,000 to, to do that because you don't need it that bad. No, no, no. It'd be now, much easier for you to go to a supercharger. Exactly. Now, if it was like a couple grand, I might have done it. But I don't know where I'd get the cabinet for this. It, it would have cost a ton of money, but it just wasn't going to work out. Let's see. And there's also more involved. This isn't the only thing. Yeah. You do have a supercharger. This is just where you plug the car in. You also have to have all the other machinery that connects into the transformer and everything like that. So, yeah, it, we don't have everything that's necessary for a supercharger. Yep. Um, somebody was asking what the e-bike that I got was again. Oh, you went and, right to the Italian site, I see. Uh, I'll go ahead and show it here. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, this is, let me change the language here because I don't know what's what. Um, anyway, so it's stock T H O K E bikes. Um, if you want more information on it until my video comes out, shoot me an email and I'm happy to talk with anybody about it. We but, have um, a couple like quick clips on Instagram, like from, yeah. was it a month or so back yeah. where we did, uh, get the bike out and just did some quick test rides. So. Yeah. But it's, it's an amazing Amazing bike. I'm very happy with it. Um, let's see. Steve is asking, are you guys going to use some of your Teslas as cyber taxis? So, I mean, it's crossed our mind several times, but as of right now, no. I'm just very nervous about having random people in my car. Yeah. And and we've been asked the same question, too, about Turo and ride, you know, ride share stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't think I would even do Turo just because I don't trust people. Because we were out today supercharging, and we saw a bunch of uh, people driving cars. It, it must have been some sort of uh, driver driving school or school, something like yeah. that. And we saw this BMW just pull up and like crash right into the curb and curb their rims and like i wouldn't want that to happen with my car and, exactly you know no matter how many teslas you know we have if we had some on the right here i would want want people 
accidentally crashing it. And or, speaking of, I've rented several Teslas off Turo. When I go on a trip, I always try to get one. Or if I'm like going somewhere for a conference, I get one. And every single one I've rented, I've had to take pictures before because all the rims were curved. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to go down for that because I do not curb rims. And one thing that... And they're expensive. Yeah, so I wouldn't do the cyber taxi where the driver, where the renter gets to buy it. And I wouldn't really do Turo. I know that Scott would probably consider doing Uber or if Tesla yeah. rideshare did allow you to still be the driver, he would definitely do that because Scott did Uber for like a year or two. I did it for a couple of months one summer just to ha test it out, have fun. Uh, but I could see Scott definitely doing Uber or you know Tesla's version of Uber in his car. Yeah. Um, and I, I believe your name is on... Yeah, just on... Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, I just want to make sure I pronounce it right. Um, it says, I recently watched your NEMA adapter bundle video. How many of those one. have you actually used? Uh, and how often? Wondering which ones I should carry in the car. So zero. it's going to sound terrible, <laughs> but we have used basically zero Well, we gave them. those away. We, exactly. We, we gave them away. We cut one open and gave uh, all the rest pretty much it. all the rest away. Right. Um, really, the only outlets we carry in the car are the 1450. Yep. And what the is it? The 515. Yep. And the adapter for... Um, what the J1772, which is for regular yeah. public chargers. So we keep all those in the car since we have chargers installed here at the house. But I honestly don't even remember the last time I've used them. And actually, what's kind of funny is I didn't even realize... I had taken those out of the car for several of my road mm -hmm. trips to California yep. when I was racing. I didn't even know I took them out of the car until I got yeah. home. Or I think I was on my way home and you were like, oh, do you have like this to charge somewhere? And I was like, oh, crap. I didn't even bring them. We, we also had that instance so, when we were driving my car across Kansas and Nebraska. We we forgot to bring yeah. the UMC, the mobile Because we were going to test it too. And we forgot to bring it because my father had put in a 1450 outlet and we forgot to bring it. Fortunately, there were superchargers all around, and he lived close by to a public J1772 adapter, so we were just able to use that. But I also still use my 650 adapter. I do still have that just because when I visit my brother, he lives kind of far from a supercharger, probably about 45, maybe 60 miles away. So when I visit him, I do use that 650 adapter. And typically, you're not going to need to carry all those around unless you don't know where you're going and there's no superchargers. But if you're going to known places like your parents, your relatives, stuff like that, you just have them put in one outlet that you can use and you don't need to carry all the rest around. Exactly. And, and their, their house might already have like a 1430 for a dryer or something that you could use in the garage already or even like a 620 or something like that, which is going to give you 10, 15 miles per hour. Yep. Um, Andrew's asking, what do you think about all wheel drive plus or any other badge options for boosted dual motor model threes? Um, I actually use the abstract ocean badges. I'm a huge fan of them. They apply very easily and I think they look really dope and they're coming out with some model Y ones here soon. And that's, what's going to go on our Y. I really like those because they had like I did the P3D plus because I had a performance pack I remember that, performance yeah. model three with the performance package and everything really awesome badge and top quality and everything. I, I think I don't want to say too much. Let me look and see. Checking out the abstract ocean. I, I, I don't want to say something that I shouldn't right now, but I want to see if just give me a minute. If you want to answer a question real quick, David, while I look this up, oh. I don't want to. Spill something if I. Oh, I know what am you're too soon. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, sorry, I'm yeah. trying to browse. Are they not there yet? Uh, no, uh, nothing, nothing to see here, folks. But anyway, I'll show you what I have. Oh, I just hit my mic. Um, so I had on my Model Three. Where is it? So I had this. The P3D Plus. Oh, yeah. Came and then, the set, right? Yep. And then I also had the Tesla letters on the back. Um, but these are really cool. You can literally make your own. So I had the Plus because I had the performance upgrade package before they kind of took it away. Um, but you can also get this if you want. Or it's you, nice you can order you can make individually, your own. yeah. Yeah, you could totally, like, make your own. Um, and you can get some of these in, like, black and everything. Um, but, yeah. I awesome still, stuff. I, we need to talk with them, see if they can have a pie symbol. So, Because, I mean, for the performance, why? Like a pie? Yeah. You know, but if you are, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But if you are looking at buying any of those, definitely check the link below for Abstract Ocean. You can save 15% off your first purchase. 
because they are the coolest channel sponsor we have ever worked with. We used their products actually way before that we even became sponsored. Yep, yep. Didn't even um, know. Yeah. But they're they're awesome people. So if you guys are watching this, we love you. Um, let's see. Tyler says, if I use 19-inch tires on my performance model Y, would it boost my range to 316 instead of 280? Theoretically, yes. It should automatically, um, yep. The, the big reason why you get 280 with those, they're 21-inch? Yes. Uh, the reason why you get 280 with those 21-inch is because they weigh a ton. And unsprung weight, which is basically the wheel and the rim and all that, plays a huge factor. Um, really the only other things, let me pull up Tesla's website here and we can kind of browse it together. And if you guys see anything I'm missing, definitely yell at me and tell me, um, for the mileage here. So long range is at 316 with those 19 inch performance is 315 with those 19 inch. Now, if you add the performance upgrade package, which just increases your top speed, performance brakes, lowered suspension in alloy pedals. Lowered suspension, I would think, would actually improve yeah. your range because yeah. less drag. The performance brakes, they might weigh a little bit. Yeah. So that might have a tiny effect, but I think it's these 21 inch. It's the weight. It's the yeah. weight. Yeah. It's, so, it's a lot. It's the weight, but they're also wider tires, which yeah. means you have more friction on the road. Yeah, and um, I, I bet too, if you got some aftermarket 21 inches, yep. well, the car might still say 280, you're gonna get a better watt hour per mile uh, usage, you know, or energy usage. Yeah. And so you could have 21 inches if you wanted, but uh, have a better range than the stock ones from Tesla. But if you do go down to the 19 inch, it should just be a better range overall. And by doing that, the, the car will see that you're using the smaller wheels and will adjust your estimated range to up to that 316 or so. And so this is the big reason why we actually haven't changed our rims on Model Y yet. Yeah. So Tesla decided to do a complete 180 and Model 3 S and X, okay, I should say current Model 3 S and X because the old yes, S You never know when it's gonna change. Exactly. <laughs> um, the original S's used Bluetooth TPMS, and then they all changed it to use, um, what, what I don't kind know is the, that? I don't know the standard. I don't, I don't know, but it's like a standard, but you have to have a separate module in the car to be able to use it, and they have to pay a lot of money for those and then they're restricted and everything. Anyway, so for Model Y, they actually now are going back to Bluetooth sensors. Okay, so it plays a couple different issues. One, I've been trying to order Bluetooth sensors and I haven't been able to get any to put on new tires, but also they haven't allowed us on the center screen to be able to reset, reset yeah. your TPMS. So on my Model 3, I had how many sets? Four or five sets of tires. Probably at least five. It was stupid. Yeah. Anyway, whenever I wanted to change, I would just reset them, drive for 15 minutes, and it would get the tire pressures what they should be and read everything correctly. For Model Y, if I change and have different TPMS, which are now Bluetooth, installed on those tires, I have to take it to a service center yeah. to be able to get it calibrated to the car. To pair now, it, yeah. To pair it, exactly. So the manual says you just have to drive for 15 minutes. And all of my friends that have switched their rims with new Bluetooth TPMS have not had that luck. You so know, I think it's a feature that's going to be coming. Yeah. It just isn't ready yet. Well, also though, you know, we've gone through two or three different software updates on the Model exactly. Y just in the last month. So it's possible, you know, when your friends were having that problem, they were still on the original update that didn't. So very far. true. And very when true. we get these later versions and they include these bug features and updates, maybe they have that now. But we don't want to take off all the wheels and put on different ones and try it just to find out it doesn't work or it does. So if anybody knows, does that work? Is it in the latest version? Uh, Let us know. And also, correction, thank you, MP3 Mike. Uh, Model S didn't have those. They had the Balong sensors before. That's, yeah, and now even they're older. Continental. Yeah. And they changed Thank that several that. years ago. Yep. But yeah. 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 So that's the issue with the Model Y right now. And that's, I think, what is affecting a lot of aftermarket rim makers right now, including the ones that I am trying to actively get rims from. Because. Yeah, you, you just can't easily swap them. And also there's the lack of availability on those Bluetooth sensors. It'll get worked out. It's just gonna take some time, but that's kind of where it's at. Um, 
Okay, so I didn't spill anything because I didn't want to. Abstract Ocean responded in chat. Thank you guys. Saying, sorry, it was in the shower. Uh, no problem. It's fine. Um, <laughs> what, during, the, during our live stream? I know, they're, during they're, our live maybe stream? Maybe they have a TV in the shower or a monitor in the shower. They just don't have a oh, keyboard. We so need to probably, do that. We, we need to do that. Yeah. Anywho, uh, Model Y emblems coming in about three weeks. So that's what I didn't want to spill it. Cool. Yeah, because we I didn't know what that. I can and can't say. But definitely we're going to be putting their version on the model y i just it's a little bit more sleek i just like to look different too i want to do my own thing i can make a p 1000d if i really wanted to um but i really like theirs so that's what we'll be doing i guess i, I can say it now um let's see um yeah william says oh that's why my tpms don't work on aftermarket rims yeah we yep. found that out like the Couple, like the day after we got our car, we found out exactly. that we can't so swap the wheels. We had a friend, Ryan, come over, and I swapped out his rims on his Model Y. and They look great. They look amazing. But <laughs> the car didn't But the TPMS it. isn't yeah. recognized because they came with the same sensors that are on Model 3 because nobody knew they switched them until we found that out. Um, but, yeah, hopefully they can fix that sooner than later and make those available for everybody, I did recently hear somebody was messaging me and said they were able to buy those Bluetooth TPMS from Tesla, but they didn't include the nut to attach them to the tires, and mm -hmm. that was an extra 50 cents a piece, but they didn't include those. <laughs> wow. yeah. And I was like, that's wild. You know, so, yeah. Another option, too, is if you are buying these, you could move those sensors over to your other set, but that's just going to be a lot more work to remove them from the existing tires. And if think in the other instance, if you're just taking the tires off and you want to have a second set, exactly, you don't have that extra and set of sensors. So if you, if you have the Bluetooth sensors moved over, everything works just yeah, fine. Exactly. But like I want to have like a summer set and a winter set because my summer set I can't. I have summer performance tires on. I shouldn't be driving those under forty degrees, and nobody should. We'll specify that because the rubber compound breaks down very easily, and here it gets cold, and I want a winter set. And I don't want to have to change my Bluetooth sensors between tires. That's, yep. that's going to be a lot of money because I don't have the time or equipment to do that. So when someone comes to the house and I have them change tires and everything, it's 120 bucks, 120, 150 every time I have them come here. So I don't want to have to pay that when I can just buy sensors and not worry about it. So yeah, it's, it's a crutch that I have an issue with, but at the same point, I can see them not wanting to stick with the Continental TPMS, if I have that correct, just let me know. Um, because then they don't need a separate unit. The cars already have Bluetooth built in. So it makes sense. Uh, in the long term, it makes sense. Sorry. But, what? I was just reading some of the comments and I'll have correction after this, yeah. Oh, okay. In the long <laughs> term, it makes sense because it's one less thing they have to buy for the cars. But in the short term, it's, it's kind of kicking me. Okay, do you want to go correction corner? Uh, I was reading, we had mentioned earlier, slight correction, is that we had mentioned that we gave away a bunch of those Gen 3 adapters. It turns out we sold those. And Sorry about that, MP3 mic. Uh, it was a couple years ago, we forgot. But we did have some other, like, Gen 2 ones. I did give some away, though, to and some we, locals. And we've given away Gen 2. So, yeah, we've had multiple guess, sets. Yeah. But I remember when you bought that whole set, we, we probably sold them all to him, or at least many of them. Oh, is that who bought the yeah, set? He, oh, he's wow. a, okay. yeah, so we didn't nice. realize that was him. Yeah, cool. Wow, everyone's here. This is fun. Okay, um, Abstract Ocean said they were doing airplay to Sonos. Okay, so they're yeah. listening in, but they can't. We could okay. do that. Yeah. yeah, We're actually doing a shower or bathroom renovation, so we might have to uh, hit you up and see what we should get for ideas. Um, let's see. Tesla Freak has a request from Abstract Ocean. Please make Matt... Please make black Tesla T emblems for the Model S. I absolutely mm. cannot find them anywhere. Mm. Not a bad idea. Um, no. So actually, um, we don't like Chrome anyway. And so on David's car, what we did is we actually bought a separate set of emblems and I sanded them and then painted them black and stuck them back on. It's very expensive. To yeah, we, and time we bought the actual OEM Tesla yeah. badges and they're not cheap. So Not at all. So if you don't want them all, make sure you specify exactly which one you want to buy because they were running like 30 bucks each. Yeah, exactly. Um, not cheap. No, I think they were more than that, to be honest. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. What do you about, what do you think about us living in the sixth seal time period? Hmm. Six seal. 
Six Seal. Oh, the Six Seal. Isn't that? Wasn't there a movie like? Was there a movie? Like Is the that Seventh a movie? Seal or something no. like that? I don't know. I haven't seen. I don't know. Oh. We'll have to go Food back and watch. Thought. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Um. Yeah. So we'll kind of reiterate. Uh, in case somebody isn't reading chat, Abstract Ocean said uh, they try to stay away, stay clear of making anything that Tesla makes, although not in black. Other vendors have tried and have received hate mail from Tesla. Yes. So Tesla has pursued some people for trademark infringements. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. So I, I see. Worst bra- case, if you don't want to take your decals off your car or your Tesla T off your car and you want it black, try Plasti Dip. It actually does work pretty well. Yeah. And see what and you think. In worst case, you just peel it off if yeah. you don't like it. And it's cheap. Yeah, so yeah. If, if you, get, you can get it at Home Depot and Lowe's. And it's easily yeah. be repairable. Yeah. yeah. So I see um, Brian uh, mentioned that he just got his Hardware 3 installed and he's having a problem getting logged into YouTube. So one oh, of the yes. secrets is that you can go to another site like Plex or some other site that uses your gr- your Google credentials. And then if you log in there, it, it, it should work. And then you should be able to go back to YouTube and... and uh, It'll work. One thing you might want to be aware of, though, is that if you are logged into YouTube so that you can see your video cues and, and your recommended videos, is that also still keeps you logged in. So if somebody were to get in your car and go to, like, Gmail or your calendar, they would be able to see that as well. So if that's a concern of yours, just make sure you log back out once you do get logged in. So, so let's... Okay, Eric stepped away for a second. He said he will be back. And... Wow, we were, uh, I was just looking to see. We have like over 900 people in chat today. This is amazing. It's, it's the, the most people I've ever seen in one of our chats. So that's great to see all these new viewers. Oh, and I just shocked that. Okay, so I'm sending a picture because I saw somebody ask about this so that we can talk about it. Um, in one of our previous videos, we were talking about um, some hydroponic stuff that we've been oh, yeah. growing. Not the illegal kind. Just We're talking vegetables. fruits and veggies. <laughs> um, let's see, though. But we wanted to give a quick update. It's sending those pictures. We'll get them in just a second. Um, here we go. Let me... Yeah, it just came through. Oh, and the light's kind of off. It's, uh... So the we have plant lights. So they're like pink hues. Um, and that's just, I guess, what plants prefer. I don't know. Not a botanist. So some of it's hydroponic. Some of it isn't. Yeah. We're going to have a regular garden, So too. these are actually just for the regular garden. But everything was started from seed and is like, look at these. They're huge. Yep. Just and last, I think last stream, they were like just poking out. Yeah. So, so yeah. we'll be ready. Unfortunately, we can't really put them outside where we live in Colorado, probably until like the second week of May, because we can either have snow or something like that, or really cold freezing temperatures. And so we're going to have to wait for another few weeks before we put them outside. Yeah. But the other stuff inside, we'll be able to grow that stuff year round. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um... Okay, so yeah, I guess technically m- medical marijuana is legal, but we don't use that. If you do, I have nothing against you. We're just growing fruits and veggies for our own use. I just want to clarify that. And it's not legal everywhere, and it's still illegal federally, so you just got to be you know, careful. I don't know. When we had the car Model S wrapped that green gold color, it was funny. We parked it at Park Meadows Mall. By the time we got into the mall, somebody had already put it on Reddit with, like, the title of, like, it's, like, the weed car. Yep, and yep. by the time we got into the mall, which is, what, 10, 15 minutes? Everybody at the Tesla store had already seen it, <laughs> and it had, like, 1,200 upvotes. Yeah, just within 15 minutes. It's amazing. It was yeah, hilarious. It definitely stood out. But, yeah, it was funny. Um, let's see... Um, Timmy England Electric says, how... Did you get those seats and the charger? eBay, actually. (laughs) Lots of eBay purchases. The seats are actually from totaled cars. Uh, We did not go buy new seats or anything. Um, And then I made bases and all that. And the charger is also from eBay. It's an old store display that Tesla yeah. had thrown out and somebody found and grabbed. Supercharger. But again, it's the thicker like V2 cable. So it's a lot. Yeah. It's, it's very a very thick stiff. cable. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Um, wow. Yes. We are at currently 962 people watching. Great. Wow. Awesome. Best ever. That's wild. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, that's 
freaking crazy. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section. We're working through those. If we miss your question, sorry, just drop it again. Um, and uh, we'll get to it as quick as we can. Um, Pavel, Pavel, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, says, uh, just picked up our first Tesla right before things closed down. Big thanks for sharing so much content. Uh, cheers from Canada. Welcome, thank you for joining. Hopefully you're enjoying your new Tesla. Um, yeah, I'm curious, did you get a Model 3 S or X? Or Y? I don't think he has a Y yet, because they just, unless he just got his Y, because I think the Y, they just started deliveries and like, or they're actually, I don't know if they've even started the Y yet. I know they've started calling again, and they're, oh, okay. they've been telling people that they're expecting deliveries in June and July, so I don't know if they have any Ys yet. Yeah. So let us know. <clears throat> Um, Tesla Freak says, I've got a night, I assume 2019 Raven Model S performance with all the latest hardware. Have you guys gotten the stoplight sign update? Saw Model S with MCU 2 and 2.0 get it, but I don't have it yet. So we haven't gotten it yet. And any Model S or X that doesn't have full self-driving won't be able to take I, advantage of I wouldn't of that. think so, but he said he said he saw a model with MCU 2 and AP2. That, that's it might have just been on Teslify. Because I don't think they can technically utilize that, can they? I don't know. I know that... We'll know, have to look that up. Yeah, it's I haven't seen that. I would have assumed it needed Hardware 3, but that'd be interesting if it, even Hardware 2 had that. Wow. Because technically it doesn't display the lights, so... I don't think that's... I think is how many people yeah. have MCU 2 and Autopilot 2. There's That's very it's rare. A, yeah, it's a pretty Because there's only drum. been a couple cars that have been updated to Autopilot 2. Oh, unless it's like... Uh, what is it? Green... Green the only? Who did it himself. Yeah, he so, might have. Well, then it might be possible, but Tesla is not upgrading people with Autopilot 2 to MCU 2 yet. Yeah. There's only been a couple people that have gotten it. Um, the official Justin Wong says, that when will they start making long range Y 19 inch? So you can actually already buy one, um, but I don't know how much stock they actually have available right now due to the whole situation. But they've already delivered some of them with the 19-inch. Yeah. There's still a few Model Y, the long range, that are being delivered and performance. Um, they're just trickling out. Sure. Oh, okay. I go, yeah. Okay, David's going to answer a few questions. Real, or do you want to go? I'll be right back. Okay, you have a mic on you. Oh, no. I'm not going to the bathroom. Don't worry. Okay, I just want to make sure he's not, like, going to the bathroom with the mic because that would be hilarious. Okay, um, let's see here. Due to the current situation, do you think Tesla will run any deals? I mean, technically, they're pretty sold out right now. They don't have a lot of inventory. So I guess we'll have to kind of wait and see. Um, do you know anyone that has lifted their Model 3 for light off-roading? Um, if somebody is making some YouTube videos about it, I have talked with them because uh, they reached out for some questions. And it's not going very well. They're running into a lot of issues. So I would venture to say it's not going to be something that most people will be offering for other customers. Let's see. Um, that is correct. We do not, uh, Steve, that we do not have the uh, beta software for the stoplight stop sign yet uh, because the two S's we have don't have that capability. <laughs> and um, the... Uh, um, Model Y hasn't received it yet. So, I mean, we have these wow. in the garage, but we're at a thousand viewers, which is nuts. I don't think we've ever been that live. And we actually had these in the garage because we were cleaning today and I was, I was just telling David, I was like, you should go get one. So since we're at six, 1,006 viewers, we're going to pop it off. I hope it's not loud. If it it's is... It's not loud. It's just going to be a mess. I apologize. But it's what, old. Wait, but We've had it for a while. I'm, I'm pointing it out. Okay, just... We're not pointing at anybody. Okay, it's just going to go everywhere. Wow, that was loud. Whoa! A thousand. Okay, that was loud. <laughs> wow. That was loud. I bet that little... Uh, uh, I mean, I'm sure it looked really cool on screen. breathing in confetti. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was loud. Sorry. Hopefully no one was using Luckily headphones. the dogs weren't down here. Uh, <laughs> um, God okay. Grape said your mic was still on. What did oh, you say? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, when I was running upstairs, yeah, it was just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, we jumped up to, like, 1,037. Wow, okay. okay. We should be doing we more don't, We don't do this every day, but this, this is a, a milestone, so we um, just had to. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Torrance is saying, has anyone gotten their Model <laughs> 3 referral Check it wheels? out. There's a, I guess there's a spider web up there, and there's confetti hanging, oh, there's like, a foot down from the ceiling. That's funny. Let me grab it. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's, like, a spider web. That's cute. 
Um, has anyone gotten the referral Model 3 wheels? We so, didn't earn them, yeah. but some people actually have received them already. Yeah, we didn't get those because we earned all of our referrals. We didn't have a three at the time, or, or maybe we had, oh, we had already passed that level. We were on the secret levels of the referral program, so that's why we weren't eligible for those. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because Jim had a comment. What does confetti taste like? David got hit. Yeah, I don't know. It was, <laughs> it was like paper or something like that. It was a lot louder than I thought. Me I mean, too. we've used those before. This this is a giant one. We've never had a giant That's one before. That's true. So. Oh, it actually it actually even says giant. And, but we and, found, and it's, we, in, we and it's in French these, too if you rotate it around. We got these for like some video. Yeah. I don't even remember what video. And we were cleaning up the garage and we found them it. earlier yeah. and we were like, hey, when are we ever going to use those? And for some reason we had a thousand concurrent viewers which is crazy. Thank you to everybody watching. And... Um, yeah, we were like, hey, what a good time. I looked over at him and was like, hey, should we do it? He was like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Enough. Yeah, a lot of confetti comments. That's so funny. Um, so we got back to the referral wheels. So we didn't earn those just because we were already in the secret level of the referral program before they brought those out as a prize. We did earn, you know, several sets of, oh, well, is there confetti up there still? Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> so we did earn some sets of, you know, the arachnids and stuff, which we like those, but... The uh, referral wheels look nice, and so they are being delivered now. Yeah. Uh, they look really good. Unfortunately, though, they don't fit on Model Y, and we don't have... Okay, we do have a Model 3. Uh, no news on that right now, but... Um, hopefully yeah. news on that shortly, but yeah. we do still have the Performance Model 3 somewhere in the world. Somewhere. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, do you think Tesla will offer a full self-driving flash sale before price increase? I mean, they did originally when they first started with the price increase, but they haven't since. So I'm thinking the like flash sales and stuff like that might, those might have passed. But yeah, um, let's see. Did you guys check out the Monroe video from yesterday that shows the tow hitch could theoretically be retrofitted? Yeah, so we have a ton more people now, so we'll kind of go over it. Yeah, again, yeah. We actually, um, have been in touch with someone who makes aftermarket tow hitches and they have one coming out for model Y. We are going to be getting the first one, hopefully this week or next week and be doing a complete install video for you guys. And the great thing is it's far cheaper than the $1,000 that Tesla sells theirs for. And everybody loves to save money. And yeah, we're super excited because we want to be able to take our bikes places and we want to tow other things that are still secret we're trying not to drop a leak. Yep. Um, and yeah, we really want that tow hitch. Unfortunately, it doesn't have it. Tesla has said some will be able to be retrofit. And it, there's just been no 100% For fact existing cars out there. We that know that. Be sure. Yeah, and they're going to have that on cars that they're going to start back up in, in May and deliver in May and June. So, you know, it's just this small group of people who took delivery in March and April that are kind of missing out on that. But even though those people who want to buy the Y and get it later don't need to pay that $1,000 option if they want to get this uh, other hitch and get it installed themselves or even do it themselves. Exactly. And it also is cheaper. And we love cheaper. It's the rated the exact same as Tesla's 3,500-pound tow limit and 300-pound tongue weight. So The only thing is yeah. is that if, if you don't have the wiring, we don't know if it will enable tow mode. But we're initially not interested in that tow mode because we're just going to do with a bike rack at first. But if we do ever start towing a trailer, then we want to make sure that we do have that tow mode functionality just because it will disable autopilot and, and it helps with like the anti-sway and everything. Yeah, and the thing is, is though, Monroe did actually see that his Model Y did have the, the wiring. Uh, wiring harness there. Yep. So hopefully they've done it in all of them and we can just tap into that and be set. So uh, as soon as we get it, we're going to be doing install immediately and get that video out there for you guys. And um, yeah, I'm super excited for it. So lots of cool news for that. Um, Jim said you have to change the title for the live stream. Dave gets hit by confetti and survives. <laughs> yeah, I was a little concerned because you're kind of pointing at my direction. I mean, I aimed luckily up, it went up. But yeah, you did take the brunt of it. There's yeah. a lot of confetti it's, up in that region. You can region. see the floor. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. Um, what do you guys think of the Cybertruck updates Elon puts out on Twitter? I mean, there's not a whole lot. I am excited for the like super heavy duty. Um, suspension suspension yep. and running it off-road and everything we're gonna be 
we're going to be putting our Cybertruck through its paces. That's why I'm so excited for the tri-motor. And if Plaid is not the tri-motor, we'll be updating it to Plaid um, just so we can get it as fast as possible, but also as much range as possible. Because we want to take this places that maybe no other truck has gone before. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. Yeah, so there's one more question. Somebody's asking about the rear bumper having to be removed. So, yeah, we're going to have to remove the bumper <clears throat> and, like, the crash bar from the back of yes. the... Uh, uh, the Model Y, but it looked like it's just a few bolts. And it's a few bolts, and it's easy to do yourself. Um, we'll walk well, you if, through. If everything. you have the right tools and, yeah. and the lift or something like that, so exactly. Yeah, if you don't have that, you could easily get it installed somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Um, Otis is saying, "Do you think Tesla monthly drawing for free car referral prize is a scam? Has anyone won the car?" So actually, we have heard of winners. Um, yes. We have heard of several winners. Um, some people have reached out, but also someone on the Tesla Motors Club forum. He currently has a Model Y. Currently has a Model Y that he a, won, and yep. he is selling. So if you go check out so, eBay, you can see there is a Model Y for sale that it was one of the cars that was given away. We were wondering about that too because they've been giving away cars for who knows how many months and you never really hear from the winners. People just keep quiet. It hasn't been anybody, you know, a YouTuber hasn't won one. And, and I guess the people who have been winning them just don't want people to know. But this guy, I guess he won the car. He said his situation's changed. He doesn't really need it. He already owns, I believe, three other Teslas. And so he's just trying to uh, pass this car along to somebody else. So, you know, check it out. It's on eBay. It's I think he's got 28 miles on it. So it's, yeah. it's brand new. He basically drove it home. It is available. So they are giving away cars. Yep. Uh, real quick, need to get a photo of that. Um, let's see. KK said, I just downloaded the new stoplight software update. I bought the MCU two upgrade and got the 2.5 to three Oh on my model S lucky. I'm jealous. I, I really want to try it out. Something fierce. It looks awesome. Okay. And I was going to follow up on the, the stuff. MP3 Mike again mentioned that pigtail since we talked about that earlier, but it's probably an hour ago, but yeah, there is a wiring uh, like pigtail and I think it's what $150 or something like that on top of it. And that's not, the one that we're getting for our uh, tow so, hitch, it's, it's not included. It's like another company makes that. Exactly. They, so the one thing is that we just need to kind of poke around under the rear bumper and see exactly what Tesla has included. Is it something that trailers can just hook into, or is it something that we need a separate connector for? Yeah, he's, it's, he said um, you need this. A, it's a this standard separate. four seven pin trailer oh, okay. connector, and so we have seen that. that yeah. And the company, the, you know, offer them. They're like one hundred fifty bucks, and it's not. T hopefully, Tesla didn't create. You know, reinvent the wheel. The the one they use for the Model Three is like the same as in a BMW and stuff like that. So hopefully, it also works on the Model Y. So we'll check that i don't know if we're going to get that installed when we first install the uh, the tow hitch but that's something we we could uh, add, add a, it, it would probably make sense to put it in there if we got the bumper off but uh, we won't need it if we're not towing right away exactly uh but as soon as we get that bumper off we'll definitely be looking at other like connectors and everything because that is something since we have the bumper off we want to investigate yeah um let's see um, and I see somebody's like, hey, you saw the notification we've been oh, yeah, live for no, two hours. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, we've been on for almost two hours. So it we're is probably going to be wrapping up. One so. hour and 58 minutes so yeah. far in the stream. And we have 1,132 wow. of you the, the time flew by today. We got a, a, lot, a lot of good questions, but a lot of repeat questions. So we're sorry gonna, for, if some of you have been with us this. for the whole two hours, you know, we, we might have a, a few repeat questions. Yeah. But. but wow. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Um... Let's see. So somebody asked, I'm trying to find it, sorry. Uh, Roger, what is the likelihood you will get a class A and buy a Tesla semi? Mm. I mean. Actually, Scott might be able to, might, he, he might. might be able to drive a I'm semi. I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> it's just the $200,000 price tag is yeah. a little steep. But I mean, you never know. Crazier things have happened. There might be mm. some surprises in store. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody said you don't need Class A to drive a semi truck. Oh, cool. Oh, I mean, I would have to do some training because I don't want to crash that thing. Yeah. Oh, here's a good one: fully loaded Model Three or Base S with unlimited supercharging. Mm, well, okay. Depends we, on the road we, trips. Uh, and also Base S. I could, I'm going to go back to the Base S because I still have an S, and right now the Base S has everything on it that I had to pay extra for uh, back in the day. I mean, it comes with like the Sub Zero and the air suspension. And oh, the, the air premium, suspension's and amazing. And the UHF. So I would still go with the Base S, and I, I still prefer it. But um, 
we'll see what the Plaid S comes out, but I'm, I'm, I think I would prefer the Plaid S too. But again, the price, a, a base S is still going to cost a lot more. Or it still costs more than the fully loaded uh, Model 3 or Model Y. Yeah, but I mean, I still think you get a little bit more for the S. You get the air suspension. It's it's definitely more Bio comfortable. Bio-weapon defense mode. Yeah. Yeah, and the free su supercharging. Well, we still have that on the S, uh, both of the S's. I, I do appreciate it. We don't use it a lot, especially when we're not driving around, but... but um, I, I would still go with the S. Yeah. Um, Sam Crown says, will you share the hitch info, receiver size, and how we can order it? You bet. It'll all be in a video. Um, we're still working everything out. It should um, be a two-inch receiver It size, will be though. a two-inch receiver. Um, so the we do know that 100%. Um, as far as how it will install and everything, we'll be doing a video on all that and how to order it. It'll all be on that video. I don't know if there will be any promo codes to give anybody yet. Um, but of course, if there is any kind of promo code I can get for you guys, I will definitely do it. Yeah, we'll definitely ask about that. Um, let's see. Tesla Freak. Um, oh, what state do you live in for KK? Sorry, not me. We're in Colorado, though. Yeah. Um, and I see Chris Bates brought up the good point, too. The sunroof. I, my S oh, still has yes. a sunroof. You don't have that. I was just looking today in the, in the Y when we were supercharging, and that glass roof is amazing. But it was a nice, to, cool day outside. It would have been nice just to open the sunroof and get a breeze in there, and we can't do that. So it would be nice if they brought that back with the Plaid S and X, or the S. Can't do it on the X, but definitely yeah. on the S. Lots of comments saying go for 2,000 viewers. <laughs> um, Maybe I next don't know. week. The fact that we're <laughs> 1,183 is still mind-boggling to me, and it's still growing. So I thank you out. to anybody yeah. who's here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, we have a lot of fun videos and a lot of really fun giveaways coming up. We're yeah. going to be giving away SSD drives for those of you that don't have one in your Tesla yet. Um, we're going to be giving away some Hot Wheels, Cyber Trucks as soon as we get those. A lot of cool stuff. So if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It definitely helps out the channel. And we do have a fun video coming up on Cinco de Mayo, so it's yeah. over a week away, about 10 days away. And that's the video that we'll be doing SSD drive giveaways in. Yeah. Uh, we'll be giving a couple away in there, but we stocked up and spent a ton of money on SSD drives, and we'll be giving those away gradually over um, May. May is going to be a big giveaway month. Super excited for that. Um, let's see. Michael says, when you get your Model 3 back... Put it through quarantine. I mean, it'll be, it'll be on the ship quarantine for, on a ship. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's going to take several weeks on the <clears throat> ship, so and nobody's going to touch it. And yeah, yeah. And then we'll probably have to go out to California to drive it back. Exactly. And so hopefully, when we do pick it up, um, the situation's a little bit more lax here in the U.S. because I really want to do some meetups with that car along the way. That'd I be think fun. that would yeah. be so much fun to meet up with you guys because so many of you have followed that car's journey and. I would love to show it to you and let you guys experience it. Maybe take some people around in the racing seats and have some fun with it. Yeah, that's that cool. That car has traveled, you know, here. halfway around the world, almost all the way around. But now it's on its hopefully on its way back. But the cool thing is, is when we look at that, that car does not have free supercharging on it. No. But when we look in our supercharging history, we can see how it was in. It was in a location. It, well, it was in. It was in well, a location. I'll just say, well, country. We know it was in Japan. Oh, okay. You can so you that. can see it was in Colorado. Then you can see it went to Utah. Then you can see it was in California. Then the next stop is like t Tokyo or whatever. So it's just amazing mm. to see this car has traveled the world. Yeah. Um, Yas, hopefully I'm saying that right, has a good question. Has the air suspension in Model S been reliable? So how many Model S's have we had with air suspension? Um, All of them. Three. Well, no, four. one of them, mine didn't. Oh, it didn't? Yeah, so we had four. Oh, yes, I remember. We've had four Model S's with air suspension. Only, excuse me, four Model S's. Three of them had the air suspension, and we haven't had any problems with no, ours. No, I haven't heard of any issues either with the air suspension. I, I've seen one or two, but oh, I mean, okay. for the hundreds of thousands of cars, I've only seen one or two. I'm not saying I know every single person that had a problem, but it's not widespread if, we've, if I haven't heard of it that. Yeah, um, but the new... Uh, Raven air suspension is simply amazing. Yep. We did a video testing it, and I honestly, like, you could feel the difference, but I didn't think it would relate that well with my uh, vibration sensor, and the results were very, very impressive. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check yeah. it out. It was like um, last year when the Ravens first came out, probably exactly. like last April, uh, March, somewhere around there, we did that video. And I was impressed because there's two different modes on there. And when we put it in the other mode, we we're like, oh, yeah, this is worse than the current air suspension. But when we went back and looked at the numbers, uh, we actually saw that both of those modes of the Raven suspension are better than the older uh, air suspension. It's just that 
there's such a difference between the two Tesla, the, the two modes on that Raven suspension that the, the I don't remember if it's the sport mode. I can't remember the the, the nomenclature, but it was just amazing uh, compared to the the regular one. And I still prefer the air suspension. The the, the Y. We've got those 21 inch wheels on there, so it's a little little rough. Maybe if we went down to 19 or 20 inch wheels, it would be better. It, a lot of people have been asking if the Model Y or the 3 will get an air suspension, but Elon said repeatedly that there's no plans to add it. So I think that's something, at least they're currently planning on keeping it for the S and X. Okay, uh, back, I had to run away real quick. Somebody was asking what SSGs we recommend. So these are the ones we use. There should actually be a link uh, for my Amazon page where I do these on, but these are what we bought to give away. Woohoo! All these are SSDs for everybody. So like, see, like May's gonna be crazy. I'm just saying, it's gonna be a good month for people if you want to win something. Yeah. So watch. So you and, and we and, pay all shipping too. You don't gotta pay anything. Yeah. These are gonna be a special like limited edition Derek SSD drive. So yeah, definitely watch our videos and and we're uh, gonna be doing blue ones, red ones, um, more blue and red ones. Yeah. So we're gonna be giving away a lot. So um, yeah, I think each one of these is like hundred and fifteen dollars. Somewhere around there. Yep. So it's like a grand. And SSD drives were given away. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. And first video for giveaway drops May 5th. 5th. Yep. So definitely set your calendars for that day. Um, that contest, I think we normally run it, what, a week? Probably about a week, yep. So you'll have a week to enter in that contest. I didn't drop one, I swear. Uh, you'll have a week to enter in that contest and... Um, then we'll be giving them away. And we'll be giving a few away every week in May. And these are what we use in, in the Model Y. Yep. And, and they fit right into the Jetta hub that Eric uses. Actually, we don't have the Jetta hub in the Y now because they're coming out with a new one. But we used it in the Model 3 as well. It's a yeah. great little drive and, and very- They're awesome. And they hold up really well. And they're literally 500 gigabytes. They yeah. hold so much. And they don't have the heat problem that you might get with a, a no. USB thumb drive. Yep. So, um, yeah. Uh, and yeah, just like um, Ruben said, it's not a hard drive. It doesn't matter if you drop it. I know. I was, I was yeah. honestly more concerned with my keyboard, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, the keyboard. Um, but these <laughs> things are like super rock solid. I've used them in the car when it's been freezing temperatures. I've used them when it's been 100 plus, And I've never had these fail before. So these are really the best option in my eyes. And they come and in we've, all... We've tried a lot of different yeah. things. I just really like these. And they come in all different sizes, but this is the, the 500 gigabyte one. Yeah. And, okay, like some people are saying, they do make bigger ones, which is yep. great. Um, but... The price goes These, up. I think, are like 115. <laughs> if you jump to a one terabyte, it's like 200 and something, I think. It's and more than twice the price or something. The yeah. price... Actually, I think it's 190 or so for one oh, terabyte, okay. but when you go to the two terabyte or something, it's okay. like it's insanely expensive. The price yeah. jumps up exponentially. Yeah. And so the 500 gig, that's what I've always used, and I've never actually had it fill up on me. Yeah. So. And again, you can partition them and you can store music on there as well as your dash cam videos. Yep. Um, John is saying, what formatting format can you use now? Um, I believe it, it was originally XFAT32, or FAT32, and I think now you can use XFAT. Yeah. Um, and so but, it used to be to format anything above 32 gigs into FAT32, you had to use additional software for. If you use Windows, I think Apple would just do it automatically. Um, but now you should just be able to format them like you would format a normal drive. When we do our giveaways, though, if people want us to, we're more than happy to format these for you so that it's ready to go. Otherwise, we'll ship them to you as is because you can see they're security sealed. Some people might prefer that. Either way, um, we'll do it that way. But we'll probably have an upcoming video since Tesla did recently change on what formats you can use and what the easiest way to do that is. If you have Apple or if you have yeah. Windows. Now there, there was a firmware release that Tesla put out a couple weeks ago. I don't know the exact version, but there was a problem where it stopped recognizing people's drives. So um, they have corrected that in the latest version. Yeah. Um, George says, will the Model 3 performance fill up a one terabyte partition with video? The rest I use for music. I mean, I guess it depends how many sentry modes you have going off and everything. And how many clips um, you save. And how many clips you save. Yeah. But like, I tend to turn off sentry mode at 
home because I don't really need it here. And if I'm at work, we have cameras at work, so I don't really need it there. So I really don't get a lot of sentry mode clips, but like if you work somewhere and there's really no easy way for you to see your car, you might wanna leave sentry mode on. If there's a lot of foot traffic though, it will fill up a bit faster. But even then, I've never filled up a 500 yeah. gig. And the dash cam video will cycle through. It doesn't keep, yeah. it doesn't keep you know, months worth of data or days worth of data. It cycles through. But if you do honk your horn, if you have that option enabled, or you push the button on the screen to save those clips, it will save those. And it'll just increase you know, greatly how, much, how many of those clips you can save. And the cool thing is now you can view those in the dash cam viewer in the car. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely love the fact that you can honk the horn and it saves it. Because if you honk the horn, normally there's something that you want saved. Um, let's see. The official Justin Wong says, which model burns tires more and which mm. is easier on the wear? So any performance model, if you drive heavy footed or love taking off at um, stoplights and stuff like that and really gun it a lot, you're going to burn through tires very fast. I don't even think it needs to be a performance. I'm pretty sure you can burn through them just as fast with an all wheel drive. Um, but if you are taking it to the track and everything, um, we actually took one of my friends, uh, Greg, his car down to Pikes Peak International Raceway. We rented out the track for a whole day and we got about four hours in and had already burned through a set of tires yeah, and so we didn't bring extras with us. <laughs> Oops. So we kind of like shot the rest of the day, but it was still a ton of fun. Um, but you can burn through tires in a few hours if you're just having fun drifting and everything. Um, you'll go through them very quick. So... Uh, as far as which is easier on the wear, in my opinion, if you want to be better on the tire wear, put your car into chill mode. It will limit your acceleration and therefore make your tires last hopefully a little bit longer. Um, that'd probably be the best bet. Um, let's see. Um, Cybertruck wrap ideas from Rocket Tesla. We've actually had quite a lot of thought on this. Um, sorry, I'm getting a lot of messages from people. Um, we've thought about what we should wrap it and if maybe we shouldn't wrap it or what we should do. I think we're going to have some pretty crazy livery ideas coming up. Um, but part of me kind of wants to keep it as the metal. Cause yeah, that was, uh, cool. what it's car like was that again? The DeLorean. The DeLorean. Part of me wants to keep it like the DeLorean. Cause that I think looks dope. But um, I don't know. Either yeah. way, we're definitely going to take a sledgehammer to it. Eh, I don't know. David's not so keen on doing that, but mm. I... Maybe a regular hammer. I'm going to take know. a sledgehammer to it. I don't know. And we got to get metal balls for the oh, windows. Oh, yeah, yeah, cyber... What are those called? The, the cyber balls or Cy something? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Cyber Some balls. company's making yeah. them, and it's hilarious. So, like, we have to... We're going to make it fun, I promise. Um, any news on Model Y third row ordered but need to change to third row and hoping for the fall? So they haven't actually said anything yet. Uh, we did some testing, though, and it is going to be a tight fit. Yeah, so the video we put out on Tuesday, again, we, we took the Model 3 third row seats and we put them into the back of a Model Y. They fit kind of width-wise, but height-wise, they were too tall, so they're going to have to come out with something shorter than these seats. That Like the ones I'm sitting in now are Model uh, X third row seats yep. and so width wise this would fit uh, not too bad but the yeah they're gonna have to do something about the height yeah uh we'll we'll get the dogs down here in a few minutes um everyone's saying please no hammer um all <laughs> kinds of funny comments i don't think we should do that either. um i don't know we'll have to see it'll be funny though whatever we decide on let's see get that real quick um Stainless steel maintenance free for driving through brush and tree branches. And see, that's the other thing is we want to have fun with this cyber truck. We want to take it places that I have never taken a vehicle before. Yeah, because so, like, that'll be great. So exactly. uh, a few years ago, I visited like all four corners of the state of Colorado. And a couple of them, are two, three of them are really easy to drive through. The fourth one, you got to go like off road and it's really, you know. Oh, here come the dogs. Hopefully yeah. they don't mind so the confetti. It'll be cool if we could go back. Oh, they're like, what's with this confetti thing? They really don't know what's okay, going on. Okay, so here's some of the dogs. There's two of them. The third one just went outside. I would like to take it back to the fourth corner, Hi, go up Hi, the northwest corner in Colorado, and we actually have to go through Utah to get to it. So that'd be cool. But there's so many places we can go. Colorado's a great state, and there's yeah. a lot of other states out there too. Yeah. 
quick uh, shot of the dogs there. They're in and they were uh, You know out. what? They, they're they actually probably heading outside. They all went outside, They've yeah. been locked in. Uh, they haven't been able to come to the dog door. So, yep. yeah. uh, Rocket Tesla said third row is only 2021. Did they change that? I thought it was supposed to be late 2020. Or maybe it was 2021. I, yeah. Um, somebody says they refreshed it. Let's take a you look. You still can't even click on it, though, can you? Because um, last week, yeah, you, last still week can't you couldn't click, click on, on it. it. Um... Oh, yeah, it says 2021, so definitely not available this year. Yeah. Um, um, so for the Cybertruck, let's look at that because we're getting some questions on that. Um, sorry, it might be a little noisy. Yeah, we got dogs all three dogs. Here for a sec. Yeah. Um, Tri-Motor is late 2021. Dual Motor is late 2021. And Single Motor is late 2022 so well that's a ways away but yeah i guess it's, it's, it's a, about a, it's probably, only a year after the first one's come out though yeah but i mean we're we're just hoping for the tri-motor first we put in an order for the dual motor originally at the event and also the tri-motor but we did the dual motor because in, it said that would be delivered before tri-motor and then as soon as they said tri-motor would also well actually at the event, we were in line talking about it, and we are like, eh, let's just order that, too, just in case they switch up their timelines, yep. because they're known for that, and they did. So hopefully we can just get the tri-motor and not have to jump from car to car, but I don't know. Maybe, what, do you think you would like driving it? I don't know. It, it, do you think it's going to be too big? I, it would be okay. I wouldn't mind driving it, but I wouldn't want it as my daily driver. Okay. I don't. I don't need a big truck. I mean, I think it'd be cool. I mean, technically, I don't either. Yeah, but, but it looks pretty. It'd be nice to have one, and if awesome. you're gonna have one, we gotta drive it, right? That's but, true. And if there's multiple people, then yeah. But I, I wouldn't drive it as my daily driver. But I just, you know, uh, I'm sure a lot of people will. <laughs> we have so many fun things planned for Cybertruck, though. It's gonna be ridiculous once we get that. Um, yeah. yeah, I can't say too much. Even for the Y, once we get that, once we get uh, yeah, once we get the white on white Y with yep. tow hitch and everything, um, we got a lot planned for that too. We've done some modifications to the current Model Y. We have a video on that coming up this week. Uh, we haven't gone full crazy yet because we don't know how long we're going to be keeping this Model Y. Uh, we really want the white on white. So as soon as we get the white on white, um, this one will probably go to a family member or maybe we'll sell know. it we're not 100 percent sure yet but um yeah um crazy to think we are now over 1300 people this oh is and wild. look brecken, brecken came down to uh, celebrate oh yeah here brecken here, ridge on, this is brecken here, ridge come here. he's like what i don't like he doesn't he doesn't like the uh, confetti he's yeah not sure. he's so, like what's going on what's all this stuff this is kit they're Rhodesian Rhodesian ridge brecken ridge and kit ridge and then i don't know where Layden is Layden ridge there is somewhere yeah. Normally they always go together. They're probably ready ready for dinner though. It's, Are you hungry? It's past dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> he, See, look, he's, he's like, like I'm almost some food. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But um, anyway, we're probably gonna wrap this stream up. A huge thank you to 1,308 wow. current people watching. This is wild. By far um, the largest audience we've by had on far. a live stream. Well, and I don't know. We might have done well on some like this, like some of the live events we've gone to. Okay. Like so the that, Model yeah. Three delivery event, but that was years ago, and and uh, who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty wild. Thank you to everybody watching. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the new subscribers. Um, but yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I got more confetti falling from my pants. I guess that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, huge thank you to everybody for tuning in. Hopefully we were able to kind of just hang out with you for a while and take your time or your mind off of what's currently going on. Hopefully you and your family are staying safe. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and see you next week. But as always, huge thanks to Abstract Ocean, our channel sponsor. If you haven't already, definitely check them out. Linked all down in the description. Using code Tesla Inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. Uh, all kinds of great accessories for your Model S, X3, and now Y. We put it on every single one of our cars. Uh, we've actually used their products way before we even got sponsored too. They're an amazing company and really treat their customers like they should be, which is huge, especially this day and age. Are you having fun back there? Yeah, look at this. This is this is like probably like eight feet tall. Oh wow, that is. That's pretty. It's like some long streamers, man. That's some long streamers. Um, but yeah, definitely check them out. Uh, huge thanks to them for helping make all this possible, and huge thanks for you guys for tuning in. This was an absolutely crazy day. I did not expect anywhere close to thirteen hundred plus people hanging out with us. Um, but we've been live now for two hours and twenty minutes. It's been a blast. Uh, we'll be doing live streams 
every Saturday at 6 p.m. So definitely tune in, and we'll be answering questions. If we. She's starting oh, to lick. She likes to. In, by she the likes way. to eat things and lick things. So I'm like, don't, don't, yeah, touch don't, it. Eat, don't eat the confetti. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, as soon as this video gets rendered and everything by YouTube, it will go live. Definitely leave it in the comments section if we weren't able to get to yours. Hopefully we were though. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of it. It's been an epic day. Hopefully you all are staying safe, though, and we will see you all next week. Bye. Wrong mouse. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs>